mean, fuck it. Free advertisement. So. Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy trying to fly by most. I gotta drive my ride, I boast. You ever eye my side piece, don't. Cause I got a piece on my side, no, I don't. I got my CD on repeat, cause the beast beat that sub. Power up like DBZ, no GT, that sucked. Except for Super Saiyan 4, that shit was fire. Fire as fuck, so when I release an MP3, better retweet and love. I'm officially meta, better get the four walls. War calls, more fall. Popcorny rappers like Gorball, red and baka hotter than the core, y'all. I can switch a style up. Spit it slow as dial up, why'd you fidget getting riled up? It'll take a while, but I'm spitting vile, bruh. You would never believe that I sucked when I first rap. Now all I ever get is love, and I earn that. All this sweat, tears, and blood, fans return that. Look at all this shit I've done, I can't turn back. You know, in hip hop, I think, uh, I think we don't take enough time to just enjoy what we're doing. I think we focus so much on being serious, you know, being lyrical and being talented that we, we don't even stop to just think about how great the shit we do is. And I'm gonna try to change that perspective. So let's do this. Yeah. I've been giving everything inside my heart and all my music can be solo Master of the art, with the light of dark, day or night inside my dojo Can I pull some bitches with the witness like a boat, homie, that's a row row All my fans be watching me like a body cam or a GoPro They go. Doesn't really matter what beat I beat up Cause the industry shows me no love, just like Vegeta Except for Dragon Ball Super, they kinda been, uh Really be giving my boy love, so you rappers better play dead like a zombie with a toy gun. Man, I live with my music, so live it to do with the gift to rip terrific. It's a give it to you. Gotta work the pen until your hand is falling off, and then you feel the genius spitting through you. Nobody told me like ever that I would be killing it. I'm living my life for the minute, I'm giving it relevant. Damn it, I'm murdering beats, you can hear them in the streets like a megaphone on an elephant. Man, I'm just so real, catch me in the back, chilling with your mom, drinking nigga bombs with the baker on. Talk about a son, shitty rapper songs, yo, shitty rapper songs, dude. I really didn't want to Had to put you on blast But if I didn't get basic It's back upon you And I think It's really important that You know, we get these opportunities uh, to, to still be topical And still be able to, to flex your abilities musically But I think it's so important To, to also be able to just Say what you want to Even if it even if it isn't You know Super crazy topical Or anything Like fuck Dragon Ball You know <laughs> Gotta get another try While I'm popping off Blasting off On a rap song Like Team Rocket Jaw Scatter your ashes To the mist Like I got Brock involved I'm like a midget Playing T-ball I can't knock it off <laughs> Me and my team We see past a lot Energy seething We had to stop all I'm trying to say is it's fucking bullshit that the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly's trigger word was Kakarot! I'm about to beat the brakes off of your bitch ass. You got no class, and your girl, when she gets so past all around the room like an old flask. I could even do better with no raps on an old Mac as an old man. Every time I spit a verse, it's so potential. You was thinking I was Gohan, ready for Rohan, ready for war plans, ready for anyone thinking they got dope, man. Consider this your final warning. You should take your chips and get up at the dope, man. Grab your coat, man. We give no hand. Anybody who be rapping so bland. I don't give a fuck, I'm having fun, and I am free. You waiting, then you was no fan. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday Sunday. What's going on out there, chat? Happy Sunday. Hope everyone's having a lovely day out there. I am the epitome of a tired human being. Same. Very sleepy boy. So tired. What's going on, chat? Smelly Cat, hello. Mad Yikes on Bike, Shadow Claw, a Haley Poltergeisha, Philip, Bruce Campbell's Chin, Southern Gothic, Lesha, Mer Bear, Badussy, hello, hello, Bun Bun. A book review, Sam, Sin <laughs> and or Shelly, only one of us, deleting Mary, <laughs> thank you, feral girl, <laughs> uh, Blondizer, how's it going, John Galt, that story, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, uh, I heard the music, there we go, uh, Donna, Mr. Green, how we, 
man, she's been busy. Yeah. She's been so busy for nothing. I got drain flies. Oh. Oh, God, they're horrible. We're, we're doing our own battle. Yeah. It's seek, seek, sink bleaching to the extreme. It doesn't really help, though. Yeah. It does, but not... It's not going to catch them. It's, it's like they're, they're <laughs> coming from the sewer, probably. Probably. Uh, spoofers, how are we doing? Toki? T Taki? That, that's got to be Toki. Maybe. Yeah. We're looking at sea otters. Six of them Six here. Six of them here. That's fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> uh, my surprise three-day weekend turned into a surprise four-day weekend. No work tomorrow. Let's drink. <laughs> no. Nice. Um, no. I no drink today. I got my frozen, frozen drinky poo. I no drink today. I warned her that you guys talk about TV shows. <laughs> uh, let's drink and stitch. Uh, we're going to be doing some shit. Boiling water is my fix. That might help. Uh, baby is being feral. <laughs> my boyfriend gets those all the time. What are they and how do we nuke them? It, I, The way we've been doing it is we put like a cup of bleach and fill up both dens of the sink and like pull it at the same time so it just like flushes the pipes. Yeah. Vinegar would probably help, too. And then you put a little thing of uh, apple cider vinegar in a little cup with a funnel in it to catch them in the house yeah. so they can't get back out. That sounds like someone's in recovery mode. Definitely a little bit of a recovery day. I had a very busy day yesterday. I wasn't expecting to be the only photographer there. Yeah. And it was it, fun. Yeah, I pulled into some horse shit. Uh, how about that Taylor Swift? Well, I did. I don't even watch football. I just know Taylor Swift's boyfriend's going to win, though. I, I, I'm not a big fan of soccer. Yeah. Bleach and napalm. The the latter might do it. The latter definitely might help. Work has me pulling double time. Dude, she has been on a tear. Our girl has been on a motherfucking tear. Yeah. Uh, Leanda, I'm having a morning margarita. Yum. Well, we were talking about what yesterday? Cocktails that start with B? Yeah. And it took me like 20 minutes to remember Bloody Mary. Well, they already had Bloody Mary on the list. Oh, I wasn't there for it. Someone's just like, hey, hey, he's yeah. the drink guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, dish of brown water. Brown fit. Uh, Taylor Swift got exposed as wearing Depends on Sage. I don't give a shit what she wears. I'm looking at that Swift ass. Citrus. Mary Ham. Dude, let's let's jump into the... Let's jump into the community. Don't yeah. be racist. Be racist. I, I am, am a Muslim. Muslim. Uh, Pull... Is Sala there? Yeah, I don't we, think he's there. I don't. Th I think it's it's a fact. Uh, is uh, uh, see my it's my com I'm very trepidatious. My my computer at home, ever since. Oh, that last AAA. No, it was Thursday. It has just froze up and crashed on me like four times. Mm. I'm not even getting an error message. It just shuts off. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm very nervous. Is uh. There. I don't know why I capitalized everything. Start pull. Uh, T Swift can suck it. You went camping without her. Uh, I what is this? The longest camping trip ever? Yeah. Yeah. So if the stream just cuts off, it's my computer's fault. That's yeah. Okay. If it does it, I'm gonna have to take it all apart, clean it, put it all back together. But I fucked up when I got this computer because I got a pre-built because that's all they had and it's a, a Dell. It's Alienware. Mm -hmm. So if I don't put it back perfectly, it's going to brick on me and oh, then I'll okay. have to have Valine walk me through all the steps again. Do it carefully. Uh, so if the stream just dies, my computer died and then somewhere in the greater Cleveland area, somebody saw a flying computer go out a window. <laughs> Uh, the Mary the Mary Ham think is kind of offensive there I said it I'm not gonna beat a drum y'all y'all and words and groan what? oh y'all oh y'all <laughs> damn it <laughs> <laughs> fuck you John uh, take pictures as you go I think it's if you disconnect it from the motherboard and then reconnect it it registers it as something that was not there before because I forgot what the issue was. I think I put in, 
I put in extra RAM sticks, and the computer just refused to acknowledge their existence until I had to go through and unlock something. Huh. Valine had to walk me through the whole the whole gimmick. You said it, person. Shut up. Um, but let's get. Let, we we got to get into this. So she just nuked everything. That's a good plan. Everything since before the hijab is gone. Oh, Mr. Snowflake will never find it now. Mr. Snowflake? Yeah, he'll never find it. Yeah, like, a couple videos, the cat, of course the cat. And then her first real video on this channel is my first hijab. Hmm. So if, it's, if she deleted it... It doesn't exist. It's not, it didn't happen. No. Nope. Uh, Alienware only accepts certain brands, that's why. Well, hopefully it should be okay if I go... If I go back and do the thing. Are we going to watch her third attempt at Phasma? Probably not. No. So they subvert his games. views, which are also the views of voters, the American people. Is that a pickle in your pocket, or are you happy to see us? It's a pickle. I would like to have a pickle. I'm very hungry. Me too. I'm, I'm very... I need eats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But that's a pickle, sir. She deleted everything. <laughs> she has changed her name. So far, four times. Yeah. It was Foodie Beauty, then it was just Miriam. Okay. And then it was Everyday Miriam, but she spelled Everyday wrong. It was E V E R D A Y. Oh my God. And then she changed it to Everyday Miriam. Okay. Wow. Uh, Toki says thanks again for this knee. Swift belongs on her own stage. Adore you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you. She's running scared of Mr. Snow. She definitely is. Uh, happy belated Chinese New Year to Mr. and Mrs. Sin. Secondly, uh, Pius Miriam has uh, been very busy lately trying to, clean up, blah, 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 trying to clean up her past. But at this point, point is trying to fix a bullet wound with a bandit. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Who is Miriam? That's, that's her Muslim name. Mm -hmm. Chantel Marie Olive Soro. No, I'm sorry. Chantel Miriam Marie Olive Soro Crystal Bizion Something Cook Wolf and Pondu. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of names. She does have a lot of names. She's she has, it's it's a very long signature. I just find it very odd. Like so her channel is like if someone searches Foodie Booty, she's not coming up. No. So, so Oh, I Does forgot she think El Rafe. That's gonna stop uh, reaction channels from finding her. Oh, I got. Hold on, I got to do this again. Hold on. Chantel Marie Miriam Olive Al Soro Al Rafe Cook Pandu Wolf Bizion. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Miriam is the mother of Jesus. Chantel thinks it means ocean. <laughs> what? Okay. What the? It, it's like whatever she was doing last stream. And she goes, uh, the Arabic word for potato is patata. <laughs> but there's no letter P in Arabic. I, I and love I, that someone's she like, only that's knows Spanish. Food. I love she only knows food words. <laughs> Someone in the comment was like, that patata is Spanish. What a right, dang. wife. Life good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret. Uh, Oodle, sorry, but find extra money, shyly squeak. Use monies to give both of you and give everyone big hugs. Hugs are good. No regerts. Natals, Natals, thank you. I love you. I love her more. No, she's yes. my favorite. Mine. Mm. You can have John. Okay, I'll take John. <laughs> Regert. <laughs> <laughs> but she did all this. She did all this. Deleted everything since before the hijab. Changed her name to Erde Mariam. Erde Mariam. And has not changed her content at all. Right. Like, it, if she wanted to rebrand her channel and start making videos about shopping for hijabs, buying new prayer rugs, reading the Quran, then you could change your name to I'm the Muslim Lady Now. This is my Muslim Lady channel. But she's still just eating, so it's still just foodie booty. It's it's all it is. 
Makes no sense. This is not a rebrand. This is I'm trying to hide. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to make the Gorilla Train gif. You keep forgetting that. Next. It, the post-it note's right there, so I can't forget forever. Yeah, okay. I've been busy. Yes, I know. I've been busy, boy. I know, I know. But she, she's trying to do all this. To, and it's we all know it's for the... It's to try to disassociate from the Foodie Beauty channel. And we're going to count that as Funko right, activities. Right, because then when people make videos about Foodie Booty, she can be like, that's not me. Yep. I'm not Foodie Booty. It, I'm, we're going to just click off Funko activities for mm -hmm. this, this Funko train of thought. But she's trying to disassociate with the name Foodie Beauty before the Snowflake documentary hits. Yeah. And that's all she's trying to do. Yep. She is absolutely scared shitless. She went on, posted this huge apology to Snowflake, then deleted it. <laughs> but let's look. The pa we're just going to look at the community tab before we do anything, because since Wednesday, four days. Don't be racist. <laughs> I am a building. The building. Don't. Her name is huh, huh, huh. But whatever, chat. Your head is up Taylor Swift's ass, apparently, because you would rather watch Sports Bowl instead of smashing the fucking like button. Do better. Make it happen, fuckers. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Alamo. <laughs> Long time no see you there, Alamo. How you been, buddy? Talk to them. I gotta find my chart. Oh, okay. Be a shame if some chart. amazing reaction channels archived all of her previous chaos. Right? It doesn't exist anywhere. Yeah, no, it's not no one can tell it's the same woman. She has a disguise on now. No one has any idea that Chantel is this Miriam person. It's, it, it's not real. No? Chantel, like, I was born wearing a hijab. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it popped out with it. Uh, Liz Lucas, first a woo. I heard if you say Candyman three times, he appears. Oh, no, don't If do you that. say Bloody Mary three times, the drink appears in your hand. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, what? It didn't work. No. Oh. If you went and made a Bloody Mary. I don't know how to make that. What? And we don't have tomato soup or whatever the fuck okay, you, you put don't in use it. soup. No, okay. It, you don't make me a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, mother of cocktails. Bless, no, I'm sorry. Bloody Mary, Queen of Cocktail. All right, enough. You don't know it. I, I, it's in here somewhere. Hold on. Moving on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Bloody. No, forget the glass, Woodhouse. Just give me the pitcher. For I am a sinner in the hands of an angry God. Bloody Mary, full of vodka, blessed are you among vodka. cocktails. Pray for me now, and at the hour of my death, which I hope is soon. Amen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> almost had it. Uh, okay. It did not almost Not it, even but, close. Uh, <laughs> if you say Biden three times, your taxes go up. If yeah, you say foodie true. three times, salad disappears. Love you both. <laughs> very, very true, all of those things. Uh, uh, oh, no, I started this and said, <laughs> I got there. Yeah. Okay. Eventually. I got there eventually. Thank you. Hi! Okay, so I majorly need your help. My channel's a mess. It's all over the place, and I need everyone. Everyone! Hey, we got a movie reference very quick. Oh, okay. You know what that's from? Nope. What? You, you don't it's know- It's one word. It could be from anything. No. It, everyone! That's from one- Everybody knows what that's from. I don't. Of course not. Uh, even if you hate me, all my lovers and haters, please let me know what kind of content you love the most about my channel. Um, uh, and the life vlogs. Let's pick that. Hey. Yeah, we win. She ain't gonna do those. No. She's gonna eat. Mukbangs, mukbangs, mukbangs. That's what we're gonna get. It is. So why even ask? And a cameo. Oh. A cameo. Ah, uh, I have extra time to make a video for you. I bet you do, Chantel. Your husband isn't home. Uh, see, people in the chat get it. Professional to professional. Oh, it's okay. Gary Oldman when he's in the hallway. Yeah, I remember the movie, but <laughs> I don't remember all of the lines from the movie that I saw one time ten years ago. Should we call everyone? Yeah, everyone. Everyone? Ah. I, you'd said it already. Hi, so I finally... I, so final channel name change. I chose Everyday Marion because I will be doing content every day. And it'll be everyday kind of stuff. Lol, see you. That she wasn't making content anymore. This is so strange. Uh, you need a life for a day in the life now. You would think. It's my birthday Thursday, and we'll talk to us Wednesday. Happy birthday, Liz. Cameo. Yay. I decided not to change my name on Cameo. 
Oh, because people won't be able to find you there? And you don't have uh, degenerate content? And cat rant. Oh, lovely. Why is the cat dressed <coughs> up like, like Susan's cat? <laughs> Susan. Susan. What'd you do to BBJ? Get your cat. <laughs> you know the opinions of certain people on the... You know why the opinions of certain people on this platform don't... You should read this, actually, in one second. I'm breathless waiting for Mr. Snowflake. Uh, till then, thank you for some of the very best contact. Sell, sell, sell. It. Thank you. Thank you, Toki. Um, okay, I read this. Who are you going to leave after Snowflake drops his documentary? How dare you? <laughs> read it. Give it. You put it in your foodie <clears throat> voice. You know why the opinions of certain people on this platform don't matter? Because it's ridiculous that I got raked through the coals for the whole coal. Never meant to be racist, as coal is the opposite of gold, but Eb Ebby way. <laughs> Incident. But now, members of Ghoul World can openly change our religious names to Mary Ham and Salad when they know Ham is Haram. Heck Ham. Heck Ham. For Muslims. And many Muslims will be offended. Not just me. You are an insulting an entire religion, but hey, you are the ones looking ignorant and Islamophobic. Goblin is a mythical creature, and the mention of anything anti Semitic about the word doesn't even come up on Wikipedia. It has nothing to do with religion. Oh, but since ogres like to make calendars with the same three pics of BBJ, rest in peace. Here's a picture of Julia in a kefia. Kefia? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, the so the calling, Palestinian calling, flag. Yeah, calling foodie Mary Ham because she's a ham planet and she wore ham pants. Like, ham is in her lore. She could not pick a name that rhymes with ham and not expect people to put ham in it. I don't think Miriam rhymes with ham. I think it does. No, it's just, it's simple wordplay. It's not a rhyme. Well, you know what I mean. It's similar. Hammy ham doesn't even rhyme. So it does. Mar yeah. Okay. Nobody knows her as Miriam. No. So it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> she's not wrong, but it's not... She's not wrong, but it's not a message not for her to say... Okay, so if, if Muslim people find name association with ham offensive, I get it. I mean, I could but see But with if Foodie, it should be overlooked because she is not a planet. Muslim. Not a Muslim. And ham was her gimmick forever. Yes. The ham pants. She and it's loved not those like ham it's pants. about all of Islam. We're not saying Islam ham, like all of Islam religion. <laughs> there, Susan's kitty. That's so good. Your kitty's better than that kitty, Susan. Thank you. Uh, there, happy? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. FFG calling her Mary Ham is just her being an a-hole. It, it, yeah. It, she, I think FFG is trying to... She's trying to antagonize her. That's what she does. She's trying to dig at her the same way she calls her goblin. Right. And she puts in a poorly cropped Wikipedia... Is it going to be better cropped if I click on right, it? Wife. Oh, right, wife. Right, no one cares about that. Wife, fight back. Kill, Kill wife. wife. Wife gone. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret. Uh, Wingy right, Wonky. Wife. Hey, since my internet is fucked after a big snow, so I'm sending you a gorilla now. Since I can't be in chat much tonight, and I guess... Oh, there's a game or something tonight? Supposedly, that's what I've been something hearing. Something about that. Thank there's you, a, Wingy. There's a big... Basketball game happening. Yeah. <laughs> Cricket suddenly got very popular. <laughs> okay, so no, it is just a poorly cropped screenshot. L Lynn is a small, grotesque, monstrous ore that appears in folklore of multiple ocean cr uh, eene creatures, first attested to in stories for Middle Ages. <laughs> okay, this this is she. She looked up what is the definition of a goblin, and she got the definition of a goblin. And she put in goblin anti-semitism it would have given her how goblin is linked to anti-semitism yeah, but she didn't google that didn't jk rowling getting shit for the goblins in the movie with the gold yeah you get a little little stereotypical too, too close <laughs> he's really walking a line there <laughs> i i love the gorilla regret it's so good but yeah she she's been on one uh, uh oh hamas israel war death statistics so far wait john said something that's why I said it's not for her to say it won't be taken seriously because it's her saying it. Right. Yeah. 
And if that is something Muslim Muslims genuinely find offensive, all right, I won't do it because I don't want to. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think... want to dole out offense to a whole religion. But she should not be the spokesperson. I'm not saying you're letting her do that. But why? She is not representative of a Muslim. Her name is not representative of a Muslim woman. Anything she calls herself, changing it around to ham or chins or ham tell or whatever the hell else, it's, it's a thing against Chantel. It's not... Yeah, it's nothing to do with the religion of Islam. None whatsoever. So <laughs> she is, she is now going on anti-Israel rants on her community she is. tab. Of course she is. The Hamas Israel war death statistics so far. I guarantee you, all of this is going to be wrong. I'm sure it is. Thirty thousand Palestinians killed by the Israeli army versus fourteen. That doesn't even sound slightly correct. No, I'm sure none of this is correct. Uh, you see the difference, or do you still choose the ignorance that's right in front of your face? More than 10,000 or so are ch t children. Uh huh. Beheaded babies. Propaganda. Uh, she I blame blames propaganda. The Super Bowl. <laughs> God Jesus damn it. Christ. It's all the Super Bowl's fault. It's America's fault. I mean, okay. We're not opening that rabbit hole today. I blame propaganda like Super Bowl advertisements, though. So. No, my channel isn't about politics, but I cannot stay silent on this. Well, you don't care about this, Chantel. Chantel does not give two shits. Uh, no, absolutely not. Entire families, Gaza is destroyed. The Super Bowl is disgusting to advertise. Bring fathers home, focusing on Israeli. Well, maybe. Okay, if this is what we're doing, we can do this. If you're gonna bitch about your land being taken away, you should have won the fucking war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have won the war. That's how you don't land get to works. You don't get to go forty. Fuck, 80, 70, 90 years later going, well, actually... It's not fair that we didn't win the war. That's mine. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. The, the entire history... Of the world. Of the <laughs> world. <laughs> from the... As soon as some dickhead crawled out of a cave and picked up a rock and smacked another dickhead over the head with it and took his cave, mm -hmm. we have been fighting for land forever. Mm -hmm. Britain... Owned half of the world. Yes. Because they fucking took it. And then they got their ass kicked all the way back to the, their shitty island. Yeah. If you win, you win the war, you get the land. That's just how it is. You lost the war. Anyway. So this is apparently a Super Bowl ad. No, this is a screenshot. Oh, it's a Super Israeli government uh, run ads calling to release hostages of fathers during the Super Bowl. What? So... If, if your country has hostage, whatever country you are, if you, you have people held hostage from your country by another country, it, you're not allowed to say, give us our people back? It's that, just, it just, they're gone now, goodbye. Yeah. G goodbye. Yep, okay. <laughs> Here's how I like to put it. You think Zulu Yeah, Empire she's trying to impress Salad. Yes, do you think, any empire, do you think they became an empire by going, hey, can I have, can I take your land? But someone with a pointy rock was like, you can try. <laughs> uh, Palestinians were given the chance to exist when modern day they were given. But we're not we're not going into like eighty years of contextual horseshit about a blood feud that has been brewing for two thousand years. Right. But I am just gonna put it simply: she is wrong. She's always wrong. No matter what she's talking about, she's wrong. Do you have a flag? I have a flag with Benjamin Franklin on it that says, Tax this dick. You do. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how a Canadian feels about the First Nations people. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Uh -uh. She, she don't give a shit. It, if, if it's not happening to her directly or stopping the Uber Eats from coming, she does not care. No, she's just saying this to make Salad think that she's being a good wife. Mm. Indeed. YouTube just raw dogging my CPU right now. Dude, I don't know what's going on. S something changed with YouTube. If I'm using Firefox, every other video, if I change a video, it just crashes. It's like, hey, you don't have internet. And then it just comes right back. Weird. Um, we didn't lose because we got our ass kicked. You did. You got your ass kicked. We kicked you right over the Delaware. 
Shut up, Brit. <laughs> Come throw your tea in the water. Foodie does all her political research on Wikipedia. I had a very... Uh, I got turned on to something today that I'm going to check out. I'm going to do that book, What's-His-Face Said. It's called The Political Brain, then... What's it? The Democrat Brain, then the Republic. I'm going to get those books. I'm going to give those a go. Because I like the idea of getting into the psychology of why people make the decisions they do. Yeah, it's interesting. And the example he gave about how conservatives are more likely to... They're more likely to look at something and not be opposed to it, but be trepidatious of it. And Democrats are more likely to be open to it, but both sides have super big downfalls. Like, you're open to too much. You can fuck yourself up. You don't do anything. You're fucking yourself up. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check these books out. YouTube not actually skipping it. I, dude, I... I went on a rant about this Friday. I understand ads are frustrating. I can't do nothing about it, and I'm not in a position financially with my life where I can just shut off ads. Right. Because I have bills and kids and taxes. Taxes! A discounted politics on? Yeah, this is definitely political talk. You're missing the positive. Brits made the ocean taste like tea. (laughs) (laughs) He's proton. I heard proton is pretty good. Uh, Anyway, so she... uh, Cameo. Here's my... Here's my Palestinian cat. Hey, you want a cameo? Here's why I hate Palestine or Israel. Yeah. You want a cameo? By the way, do you like cameos? I have some. Uh, more important question. How do I murder the damn goblins of Boulder's Gate 3? I could not get into Boulder's Gate. I no. tried. I Lamented Guide got me the game and I tried my best. I played it for a few hours. It just didn't, it just didn't scratch me. Whoa. Who's shaking the table? Uh-oh. I have to get under there with the Allen key and tighten everything up. Oh, the damn IRS 2000 this year. I'll be lucky. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Let's get to the let's get to the reason why we have gathered here today. We got to talk about her latest videos. Okay. And I want to make sure I have these all in order. So talk to the chat for just a moment. Oh, hi, chat. You don't give a rat's hind in about politics, yeah? That's that's valid. A lot of people don't. I hate the damn turn-based violence. Oh, the game. It, well, I see. I like it in Dragon Ball, but in a video game, like I don't, I don't care what they do. I just want to go. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, 4K medical debt. Yikes. I love you. I love you too. Anyway, any whore. Uh, guys, let's take a look at that like ratio before we even get started. Pause. Oh, we can probably end the poll. 91 to 9% salad's not there. The salad's definitely not there. There's no way he's there. We have 650 people watching and 170 likes. That doesn't math. That does not math, guys. Do your math homework. Fondle the like button. Express it out on your social media. And should you feel like tossing a coin to your internet buskers? the Buskers. You know what a busker is? I do not. It's like someone playing a guitar on the corner and they have the case open in front of them. It's a busker. That's called busking, yeah. Okay, that's a word. You've never heard of this? Yeah, no. It's where, like, put a tip in yeah. the hat comes from. Like, people... Yeah, okay, I know musicians on the corner. It's called busking. I didn't know it was called busking. If you want to toss a coin in the hat to your favorite internet buskers, toss a coin to your Witcher, which is 10 and 110. Um, Streamlabs is down below with everything listed. We have three McKinley packages ready to go out at a moment's notice. And so not only do you get a package, you get to be stream boss. Emmers is going on a month as stream boss. Yeah, it's been a minute. You get a package with a bunch of dope, specifically branded McKinley stuff in it. You get a song and you get your own special aura. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And if you want to get somebody a Valentine's Day, you can uh, <laughs> you can donate to have Livy's rent removed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the first video. I ate this every day and lost 10 kilograms of I'm a 22 lie. pounds. This is a lie. She ain't lost nothing. She, she Her mind yeah. is what she's lost. Uh, play. Hello? Play? I appreciate your community. You crack me out. Well, thank you. <laughs> Toss a coin to <laughs> your sinners. Damn, that's good. Shut have thought of that. I should make that the 110 name. Yeah. Hello, foodie booties. Foodie booties. <laughs> ah, 
cameo. Why are you I'm using a phone-based resolution on a YouTube video? She's an idiot. Why are you doing phone re resolution? Because she resolution? just screen recorded it from her phone, not, and she's an idiot. Not resolution. Uh, or not orientation. Orientation. No. Yeah. Orientation. No, it's... Orientation. Portrait or landscape. Yep, that's... Fuck, someone in the chat's gonna be like, it's this stupid. Uh... It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Anyways. I'm waiting for this to load. Yes, we did kick the UK's ass during the War of Independence. They came back and kicked our ass during the War of 1812. And ironically, we pay more in taxes. Yeah, I don't even want to get into that. Aspect ratio, thank you. It's not avant-garde, stop it. Oh, we're not even getting a voiceover? No, but get this thing that Cameo made. She uh, just this, put it, up. it probably is something Cameo made. Yeah, it's something Cameo made, and she just put it up. Oh, cat, no one cares about her. I about. care about the cat. I want her to put her hijabi back on and blow something up like Susan's cat. The only way to avoid criticism, do nothing, say nothing, be nothing. She's good at the being nothing. Yeah, I mean, you're, you are accurately doing and saying that. nothing, not so much. And by the way, this, I believe, if I got this correctly... I thought we were, we were done having a look at this. No. Uh, Absolutely not. That's never going away. I hate it so much. You have to deal with that forever. I don't like it, though. It is what it is, babe. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh, for the new people out there. <laughs> but we are initiated. Thank you, Colt. Thank you, Colt. This is the first video after her privacy is good, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm never talking about anything ever again video. Well, hello, guys. How are you? How are you? Welcome to uh, dinner time with Foodie Booty. Okay. Over, under... This is about a half an hour. Over, under 14 minutes before she already breaks the... I'm not going to talk about my life. Under. So under the table, I have my cat waiting. To she have has some chicken nothing to do but talk about her life. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a meal that you know how I had that big weight loss when I was like in bed, and the, the big weight loss that didn't exist. Yeah, she didn't have a big weight loss. You know, people were like, "Well, she can't you can't lose weight when you're in bed." Yeah, you can. Um, I was eating healthy stuff like this. Uh, this was my my big meal of the day. Basically, um, has she was bedridden for. Like three days. No, it was a good week, wasn't it? Yeah. The only way she could have lost any weight being bedridden for a week, eating the way that she did, is if she lost that. If she lost five pounds of muscle mass. Yeah. Because once you stop moving, it it, it is deteriorating. It's true. If you don't if you don't use your muscles for days, they deteriorate. Right. Hummus with uh, olive oil on top. You get a pickle plate. I'm going to give these greens to Howie. This is the fuck. I, that looks fucking good. Salad. What is even in that? Deliciousness. Sush salad. And I just sprinkle, I think there's a bit of um, olive oil on it. And then I just sprinkle the lemon on it. And it's so good. It's so yeah. good. Half huh? of a, a chicken rotisserie chicken, a few fries, some bread, and some strawberry, fresh strawberry. What, what, what is this tray in the corner? Like, I see the tray of food in the shot. Where? You don't see the tray of food? What are you talking about? Hold on. Let me... Uh, There's a whole nother tray of food in there. Where is the my full screen? There we go. There's a whole nother tray of food in this shot. Right here. She just showed us. That's her pickle plate. It's a, She's got a whole nother fucking tray of food. <laughs> yeah, she just showed us. That's the pickle plate. Berry juice. Um, yes, yeah, so first let me give my chicken some cat. Let me give my cat some chicken. I mean, yes, you're yes. also giving your chicken cat hair, I'm sure, because you haven't washed your hands. Here. You, do you not have a fork? Of course not. And the she always bitches about the cat bugging her when she eats, but the cat's not bugging her. She's like, come here, kitty. Yeah, she's trained the cat. When come here. the big thing eats, the cat eats. Come here, kitty. Here. She did not give that cat that big of a fucking chunk. Come. Peter. Uh, she didn't give the cat anything. She just cut it. Yeah, she cut it. She just ate it when she the cat didn't it. come. Bread. Mm, I love fresh pita bread. Was she got fucking two loaves of pita bread there? Yes, she's gonna eat them all. 
Holy shit, man. She's got this giant cup of pita dip sauce here. Yeah, well, yeah, she did say what this is, but I wasn't listening. It's not queso, what is it? And some kind of cheese, probably, that she dunks her pita breads in. Mad yikes on bikes, bone and spaghetti order. Oh, I, by the way, if you have not noticed the stream goal. Oh, that's pretty good. Miriam's deleted past. <gasps> man. Why are you so annoyed, Chantel? What's the matter? Yeah, why are you annoyed? You got a delicious, healthy dinner there in front of you. What's the matter? Forks are illegal in Kuwait. Apparently, we're eating salad with a spoon. Oh, hummus. Plastic spoon. Did she say the word? The touche? The word that she says before she eats. Oh, I don't believe she did. She always says bismillah or whatever it is. Doesn't, I, do, I don't think she said it, did she? Or I do, did I just tune it out because she says it so often? I do not believe she said it. Mm. That looked like it hurt. Look at her face. Wait. Put it in. Take it out. Stop. <laughs> Put it in. Take it out. <laughs> no, stop it. That looks like it hurt. something hurt there. Yeah, there's something hard to hurt her tooth. Mm. So instead of croutons, they basically put like crunchy pita pieces. So and more pita. So croutons. Yeah. If pita is bread. It's pita, a flat bread. Pita croutons. Pouton, damn it. <laughs> Get just carbs, all the carbs. I, give me all the carbs that you have right now. Mm -hmm. They have really good hummus. I think it was uh, Sansa Cook's channel said this was like 3,000 calories. Probably. Oh. Mm. They also give you tube, which is like a garlic. Eat those cold fries and shut up. Sauce. Yeah, they look She's got dental problems. Those cold, crunchy veggies are pure pain. I would just stick. I'm so hungry. I would just stick my face in the pan and eat it. <laughs> like I'm sure she wants to. I'm tempted to go get food. Should. So. You don't want bone in salad, Chantel? Oh, there it is. She's there, gonna there chop go. she's gonna boil that down later to make spaghetti out of. I wanted to kind of talk about <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I just heard what you said. When I said give me all the carbs you had, I didn't mean give me a lot of carbs, I meant give me all of the carbs. <laughs> Something I've been reflecting on again. You know oh, we're doing a lot of reflecting. Uh huh. Sometimes you are scrolling. Stops talking to eat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely stops talking to eat. And you see, just a good piece of advice at the right time, kind of like when I was in Cuba. No, because I don't follow generic advice or interesting quotes from fictional characters on Instagram. And tell us. And I was having a meltdown. And I was like, what am I doing here? You know? What are we alive for? Give me a ring. I had a lot going on in my personal life. Okay, we're going to want a 1.5. Yeah, this is ridiculously slow. I want to hear what it sounds like on No, normal. thank you. I, I would just for a minute. Sleeve right in the hummus. Hungry Abaya. I'm counting it. I had a lot going on in my personal life. No, you didn't. It, inside her head and conversation. I didn't know if I was going to make it, and I was trying to find a way back home early. Oh, uh, you're dipping that in there? Okay. You're just putting it all in there. 
Look at she stares at herself when she eats. And greasy chicken fingers all on her. Yeah. Yeah. Rub that greasy chicken all over your chin napkin. I thought, Hold on. I've got some high fiber tortillas and buffalo cauliflower in the fridge. Or I can give you a husk drink that'll glue you to the toilet for a week. I was already glued today. Thank you very much. Social media said. The first thing I did when I opened my phone, it was like, you can't escape God's plan for you. Why do I think her background is a green screen? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think she'd have the couch pillows all messy and stuff if it was. It would look nice. When it's a green screen, you can kind of tell. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, dude, why don't you just drink the hummus, Chantel? All right. Um. Hello. No. Is that Something Salad's gaming chair? Yes. Mm-hmm. A lot of community posts that I always delete. Yeah. Uh huh. Addressing things that were said by people. Who don't know shit and who don't i thought that the, oh. <laughs> the quote at the beginning said to ignore it yeah and don't watch it why uh, yes we are back at 1.5 speed why are we not following the quotes don't are not deserving of any kind of explanation but you're gonna just give it attention all the time always no matter what or me trying to defend she has myself. nothing else to pay attention to no god no So, you want more? So the first thing I see today is- Oh, the kitty. Now she, the cat's over in her business. Now she's angry eating. <laughs> look, look how quick this changes. Watch, she's slow, methodical, taking her time. Cat shows up. So. Mine, this is my chicken. You want more? This is all so my chicken, what are you today? doing? I'm gonna shred it right in front of your face, but I'm not giving you any. Is. Now look how mad she is. Jesus. I know I have a lot of cat hair all over me, but... Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. If you don't want to be criticized... Oh, speaking of cat, come on. Never say or do anything. Yeah, then just delete your channel. Yep. She doesn't even believe this. Look at her. Otter does not believe it either. Good girl. What? No. Got tooth. Smack your microphone and get out. And it's a good honor. We all know it's true to my case because if I don't want to be criticized on this platform, hello. Yeah, if you don't want to be criticized on this platform, you just have to get off of it. I just why well, the inner monologue is hilarious. I love me. watching her think in her head. And she, it's like she's saying it, but she's not. Like here we go. Yeah. It's stu stupid, isn't it? No. Like I just, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't just even be online. I should say nothing, do nothing. Yeah. Because as you know, no matter what I do or say, this is first meal activity. Oh yeah. I get criticized for it. So. What I need to focus on is not taking the bait and not answering to any of the accusations or drama. I've seen so many disgusting lies told about me um, in regards to my abuse story. And I'm just like, why am I defending myself against these people? Like why? These people are, are irrelevant to my life. Irrelevant. Losers. Irrelevant. They're, Losers. They're irrelevant, but you, without reaction channels, you would be getting worse views than you're getting now. It wasn't too long ago she was getting five, 15, 10, 15,000 views on a live stream. She did a live chat last night for about like an hour. Right. 2,000 views when I saw it this morning. And it, it was like, it had been up for 18 hours. So it had gotten a bulk of its views already. Right. Let them talk. Who cares? Yeah, they don't even have a cameo. <laughs> right. 
You, who are you? Where is your cameo? Your cameo. The real people who know me and support me will never believe their crap. Until they see the proof. Right. And that's it. So who cares? And that, the who cares part, it's not that I care what these people think about me. You, you very much do. Yeah, she definitely does. You're doing a lot of caring. It's that, I feel like I need to answer. And it's like, sometimes, you know? Pickle carrot. And it's like, no, you don't, Chantal. You don't have to acknowledge these people even exist. Because that's, I feel like that's what they live for. Uh, yeah, and what are you doing exactly? Eating. To trigger me. To trigger. To trigger. He's a wolf. Yeah. Let people make up the lies. Let people say what they want. Let people make documentaries. Whatever. Uh, roll Tide. Hey, it's been a while since I've donated. How are y'all doing? Hope everyone is well. Decided to stop by and uh, the SB is on halftime of oh, Super Bowl and I have some time at work. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Because whether you realize it or not, whether you think you're giving good or bad publicity is still better than no publicity. Any bad attention? Dude, Chantel, get the fuck off Instagram. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done. It's just take Instagram and make it a personality trait. You're still giving my channel attention, so that's how I'm going to look at it. No, we're giving foodie beauty attention. We don't know Miriam. We don't know who everyday Miriam is. Look how greasy her fucking fingers are. Holy shit. That's all I can do. You know, I think you're right. I think this does count as rage binge for sure. And I'm sure we had a high guys rants about haters and she shamed somebody on the community tab. In reality, they don't have any power in what they say or do to me. No power in what we say. None at all. This is not getting to her in the least little bit. Unless I let it affect me. So, that's all I want to say. Obviously, we go around in circles with this because I haven't learned the lesson properly yet. I'm going to try again. Just focus on what's important. But here we are, doing the exact same thing. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, that's it. And And yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I ate this meal. Pretty much every day. And I was healing in bed, so Law would bring me this table. And set it up for me. <laughs> he suggested this meal. He's not there. Does anybody believe he's there? I don't think he's there. I don't think salad's there at all. I don't love dark meat, but I prefer white meat, but it doesn't mean I never eat dark meat, you know? It's cooked well here. The grubby little mitts here. Yeah. I would eat most of the salad. Usually, Salah and I would have a full chicken we would share. 
Usually, usually we would have a whole chicken we would share, but he's not here. And we just passed uh, the 20... 25% marked goal. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. With hummus and salad? Mmm. But he wanted, um... Man stuff? Mine stuff is a Middle Eastern, um... Dish. And it's... Like... Sheep meat. It's not really lamb, it's like mutton. Uh-huh. It really does seem like she lives alone. It does! Like, she is always alone. She'll be on streams for hours and there's no noise in the background. Different age. And, uh... It's cooked in, like, a fermented yogurt and lamb fat broth. Who gives a shit? Oh. I didn't even know it was cooked in lamb fat. But it's so good. And then you get this, like, the yogurt sauce. With, it's covered in sauge bread with rice. Mm. But chicken, I love it because I just, <clears throat> excuse me. But chicken, I love it because, mm. Especially the way they cook it here. Yum. I'm gonna save some for Harry. Dude, I just, I completely zoned out. I forgot I was doing a show for a minute. What is happening? You're not, you're giving the, the hamster roasted chicken that you pulled apart with your dirt fingers? Because he gets, there's hair inside my ear. Man. I'm hijabi, but I'm, uh, It blows my mind she didn't just marry Pete's. He would have done everything for her. But Pete's was below her station. She thinks that she deserves a tall, fit, dark man. Not somebody on her level. I'm going to tell you. Peter Bird makes my jaw click. What the heck? Everything makes your jaw click. Um, the things I've been doing for my hair... Radish. That sounds so fucking terrible. Uh, I've been she is 100% that meme of the fat girl who's like, he needs to be six foot tall, make $600,000, blah, blah, blah. I'm using this, this, it's like a black oil, and it has rosemary oil and some other things in it. Quick, take a bite. The it's Middle East is really big on black seed oil, because the Prophet Muhammad, subhanahu wa ta'ala, said, black seed... Oh, religion words. It's been a while, thank you. Is a cure for everything except death. So I put black seed oil is a cure for ev everything. Put this oil on my scalp and my head. Combining that with collagen I take. You're putting food on your face, stupid. I also take vitamin D. And by the way, we're already talking about our health stuff again. D, a lot of it. Um... Anyway, B vitamins. I think yeah, vitamin B and black seed oil cured her of her diabetes and hair loss. Okay. I think that was very vitamin deficient. My hairs are different, so. That was six fingers all even could catch. People, Thank you. That my my image without hijab is out there, but my hair is a lot. It's different than what it was. So. No bullshit. Bullshit. She still has that baby bird hair. Anyway. It's kind of like you haven't seen my hair. Mm. 
So simple. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, olive oil, lemon, pita chips. No calories left behind. She shaved her head. Yeah. Get it. Uh, get it, Chantel. Get every little bit. You can't leave any of that behind. Every little shred of chicken you can. Get it. Stick your finger... Stick your sleeve in the food. Just get it. Get that. Get all those calories. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you. Now that I'm able to... Dude, th she's... This is sped up, but holy shit. She is angry about some... She's angry. Sit down. Danger, danger. Thank God. She's gonna end up taking out a finger. Like you feed you feed a dog that's too excited, too happy, they they nip you a little bit when you toss them the food. She's gonna end up fucking chewing off one of her digits. Uh Gary Thomas for the dollar. Let's be fair, a lot of women who are the most attractive think they deserve an Adonis for a husband. Well, she also said Nader was an Adonis. And not just Chantel, they can't all get a stallion an Italian stallion like Mrs. Sin. Yeah, no, she she's very lucky. Did somebody order a small pepperoni? <laughs> I would eat a huge meal like this and then basically just... I'm shocked she's not growling. It's not late at night. It, look, I have bit my own finger eating before. I'm not even going to lie. But to be fair, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> now, Miss Sin went to she go get some uh, some grub. But like hours kids, later. Kids need eats too. My husband would prepare it for me. And it was delicious. Quite a bit of pizza. I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm just reading the chat. I like I don't even care what she's saying. Pita. I imagine her growling at the and it's not even like grrr, fucking with the cat. It's like that animal it's that primate <sighs> growl. It doesn't seem to like spike my blood sugar because Because I cared my diabetes with Unicity. What happened to the Unicity? Where did that shit go? I think it's because I'm eating it combined with a lot of fiber. Is it in her description still? No! She took the unicity out of her description! Oh no. Uh oh. That's gone. Never to be spoken of again. We're in the hummus and protein. Very satisfying. It has like all the food groups, <laughs> even fruit. What? It has like all the food groups. Very satisfying. It has like all the food groups, <laughs> even fruit. A smoothie. It. Uh, you know what? All right. Just blended strawberries. My juice the other day, and my mobile came frozen. I was like, what? Cause they say fresh juice on the menu. <laughs> oh, she, a lot of people called her out for that. A lot of people called her out for the supposed fresh juice being a chunk of ice. Mm. Damn, she polished off that whole fucking thing. I don't want to waste any chicken. <laughs> I know. The meal's not over because you have... Because you're done eating. The meal's over because you have no more food left, you psycho. One more piece of bread and hummus. Bullshit. I, I'm, I'm putting the official... The official X to doubt on that being the last bit. She still has... A uh, half a thing of this stuff, and then a whole nother l bag 
of uh, that stuff. I am done. What the heck? That will last a few days. You're okay. It'll last a few minutes. She she's well, about to. Like, um. Oh my god! She ate. She ate through a bag. All her little cuts, she cut out her eating. She ate through a whole bag. There were two bags of the pita there. Oh. She's sniffing it. I can't remember what's the Just a whole ass tomato sitting around. Five dollars USD bullshit. Either one KD seven hundred and fifty fills. The delivery. It's also a very affordable meal. Compared to if you eat local Look look at that. She just there's a hole straight through that bag. She tore the bag up. I imagine it's like, you know in a movie where somebody's dying of thirst and they get a bottle of water and they just rip it open and... <laughs> I, I imagine that's how she was getting that fucking... She, <laughs> she rips it open like pita chunks are flying everywhere. Local? Compared to if you eat, um... From like, you know, American cha chains like uh, Chili's, excuse me, or TGI Fridays, or... She's, she's not happy with this meal. Something like this. You can tell she's mad. When we went to TGI Fridays, we spent, how, how much was it? It was expensive. It was like, all, like almost $100 for like subpar food. She hates that drink too. She's having a, a whole ass conversation in her head. You ch you're chewing your drink. Why are you chewing your drink? What is happening? Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Um, thank you for having dinner with me and listening to me. So, I'm gonna try again to just, I don't care. And honestly, I don't want people like that in my chat. You know, I heard your mama say, I don't even care if you have 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people uh, in your chat. I don't want any of those people in my community, and it's so true. Okay, well, you don't have them, so why are you complaining? If you're not worried about it, why are you bitching about it? I don't want any negative people in my chat. Stay away from me. Um, yeah, $100 a TGI Friday is in its subpar. You only went out to eat at one of those TGI Friday tier restaurants. You know, pick it. it was Red Robin, fucking Chili's, whatever. She... Ch chilies. I think it might have actually been chilies, but it it was a hundred dollars after tip for all five of us to eat, and the, including a tip. We I tipped him like it's probably like twenty. I probably threw a twenty on the table for all five of us. So it was like eighty bucks for all five of us to eat, and. Her and Salad are spending a hundred dollars. If you're just coming in to instigate and to say, did you see what this person said? I'm just gonna block you. I'm sorry, but even if you're a member, because what I need to protect now is just the vibe of my channel and staying away from triggers. So if you're purposely coming into my chat to do that, you have issues and I'll just block you. So just be warned. All right, guys. I'm just gonna block you. If you, if you talk about something I don't like or you ask me a question I like, I'm blocking you. I don't care if you remember, I'm blocking you. You're getting blocked. Block. Block, block. We definitely had plays with food in there, too. 100% plays with food. So that is it for now. And, um, yeah. Oh, I was feeling. That's so satisfying, really. And you don't feel gross after eating it because it's, like, healthy, healthier. Like it, you, food. you should feel gross after all eating right. all that. And thank you to all of those who have requested a Valentine's cameo so far. I have been having fun making them for you guys, and I'm glad you enjoy. Um, yeah, it means a lot. So, so if you want to get your cameo before Valentine's Day, just keep in mind, I have, I think, three days to complete them. So I try to do them as soon as I can. If you want a 24-hour one, you have to request a 24-hour one. A what? So, so if you want to get your cameo before Valentine's Day, just keep in mind, I have, I think, three days to complete them. So I try to do them as soon as I can. If you want a 24-hour one, you have to request a 24-hour one. Um, it's a bit more expensive, but I do it right away. And then, uh, for the last minute kind of thing. Oh, so she has a new cameo tier 
where if she gets a cameo, she's going to do it right away. And it's more expensive because she's very busy. So you have to spend $40 to get her attention right away. Meanwhile, you can get something like a Gorilla Regret over here for much cheaper. But I get a large influx of requests right before holidays. So if you want one, make sure it's uh, at least three days before Valentine's Day. Otherwise, it'll have to be like a 24-hour request. So yeah, something different, you know, something different for a gift. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah, it certainly was a video. That that was definitely a video. That that was that was a video. That was a whole video. It, I I'm shocked that her channel's not getting worse. Like it's getting worse, but not worse. Like, huh, let's look at her views. Eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, thirteen, uh, four, eleven, fourteen. Let's look at the live. 2,000, 3,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4,000, 6,000. Well, let's go back a little bit. 13,000. Oh, that one doesn't count. 12,000, 9,000, 15,000, 8,000, 13,000, 10,000, 10,000. 2,000, 3,000. 3, and she ate this every day. Lose 20 pounds. <clears throat> or a witcher short. Man, some of the best donos are 20 and under. They're phenomenal. And some of the best are 20 and over. They're phenomenal-er. Uh, guys, smash that like button. Share it out on the socials. Blah, 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 blah. Time to break up the monotony. Crab Army, rise up. Thank you, Olga K. For the 22, or 27, 22. I appreciate that. Crab Army, rise up indeed. Sin, have you played Pal World? Yes, love it. Uh, Salad is back on Tinder Canada looking for another big cash cow to exploit. He, ne he needs somebody with half a million followers because they are equals. He's going to try to poop on you, but they are equals nonetheless, according to Salad, supposedly. Um, To be fair, your government, it, yeah, my kidney cert might be time for some water. Yeah, you think? But guys, play that for that, 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 that. Smash that like button, share it out, socials, etc., etc. Our Streamlabs listed down below, packages, songs. You know the drill. Let's get into this next one here. Kuwaiti chicken maboose. <laughs> and bread bowl soup mukbang. Maboose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What your salary usually, biatch. Oh, just same. I think... I think Miss Sin's right. This is just some shit that uh, Cameo sends out to all their creators going, you use this. Tell them you love them. They, they love you long time. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome. Oh, I got to speed that up. Shit, man. Hi. Guys. It's... Me, Judith, Miriam. Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so I'm eating one of my favorite meals for dinner tonight. <laughs> you guys. Oh, why is she so quiet here? She must have that microphone up under the the the. the no, nope. chicken match boots. Um, one of the official foods of Kuwait. Um, definitely one of the most popular. And. But that bread looks old. That bread looks very old. You should get Shelly a cameo from Foodie. I, first I off. I would love that. First off, no. <laughs> Second off, I, I can't... I don't have money to throw around right now. I gotta be very careful with what I'm doing. I'm having it from my favorite place that has this lentil cameo soup that I love Mary so much. Ham. So this is Bakus, tomato garlic sauce, broth, uh, mabuch, crushed peppers, and like a... I don't know. It's marinated peppers. And the best pickles you will ever eat in your life. <laughs> oh, and uh, some yeah. pickles, greens, the chicken, and the matcha with rice. So Bismillah. How high is that table? I think she's got it like it's stacked up with like phone books and shit. No, it's one of those trays, like an eating in bed tray, but it's got the little legs that fold out, mm. and then it's standing on top of their dining room table that is the living kitchen table. I'm start with some Don't <laughs> be racist. I am a building. Don't. What if somebody donated specifically to get a hamio? No, I actually don't really want. It. 
I would. I was kidding. I would uh, politely <laughs> decline and offer a <laughs> refund. I'm not. I'm not giving Chantel money. No. I would prefer, like, she knows we exist, and I would prefer that she didn't. That's true. Like, I don't want anything to do with her. Right. I, I don't want. I don't want a cameo. I don't want her creeping, watching none of that. I would prefer if she just didn't know we existed. That would be the safest bet. Uh, Beck, breaking my slabs, Cherry. Ooh, yeah, you mm. are. Uh, I should be asleep. It's nearly 2 a.m. in London calling. <laughs> but I'm lying in bed, laughing my head off at you, Shelly. Best chat ever. Oh, that was cute. Thank you for the impromptu song singing, Beck. London calling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you're from London. Do you know a guy named Drunkle? Everybody <laughs> over there knows each other. Yeah, there's like four people over there. <laughs> And then I'm going to get into what I want to talk about. Let's have some pickles. Oh. If you're talking about foodie, she's well aware you exist. I know. I would prefer she didn't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting involved. We don't want to get her attention anymore. Yeah, I don't I don't want her watching. I don't want her hanging out here. Uh -uh. Like we're, we're, I don't want her hearing my cat meow. She might want to kill it. We're watching our stories. And I, I don't want... I'm not... I'm just watching her favorite reality show. Hands off, don't touch. Yep. And that includes... Giving her money, mm -hmm. and I, I, I don't want to do that on principle. And I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And fuck off. <laughs> Life in vibe. Did she post today or finally into a diabetic coma? That's a good question. She posted that little uh, anti-Israel rant. Oh, okay. Water. Mm. That's a lot of bread. That is a fucking lot of bread. That's a, that's a loaf. That's, yeah, that's as big as her head. That is a whole loaf of bread. Like, she, the bread balls at Panera are just some little tiny things. Yeah, the little sour. And I thought those were big. No, she she is... She just has a loaf of bread. Uh-huh. And a, a, a bucket of rice with a half a chicken. Mm-hmm. And all the other nonsense. You know what makes her really mad? When you see that bucket of rice and you say, That would feed my family of five for a week. <laughs> mm-hmm. She hates that. <laughs> Put the bread stuff in. Yeah. I don't think it would feed our family five for a week. No. It would maybe. It could be a meal for the three kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three kids could definitely split that. I'm the missile guidance system, and I'm here to fuck shit up. You can have some freedom too. Hold this fucking missile flying at mock Jesus. Uh, hey, been a while since I've swung by. Uh, nice drop to catch you in the live. Oh, thank you, Chaos. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Hope thank everything's you. going well. I don't understand why people want her dead. I, yeah. No. But. No. We uh, can acknowledge that she's on the path without wanting it to be true. A foot loss does add a little flavor of comedy, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just here for the laugh, man. I don't want to get involved. Mm -hmm. I don't want money. For, I don't want to give. I especially don't want to give her money. Mm -mm. What a pause. That's, a, that's her thumbnail right there. I, I especially don't want to give her any money. But. I don't want any money exchanging. I don't want nothing to do with her. I just want to watch it. Mm -hmm. So I hope that really long, drawn out, convoluted shit answered your question. Yeah. No cameos. Oh. So, I'm, uh, as you probably could tell, I was going to rush and make a community post to tell you about my changes, but I'm not making community posts anymore. I'm going to try. <laughs> also done community posting. Yeah, no more community posts. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've rebranded my channel, uh -huh. but only because I've rebranded my life. Right? You're you're in hiding from Mr. Snowflake. <laughs> um, or I'm trying to rebrand my life. So, yeah. This life rebrand has been ever since she's been in Kuwait. This has been all she does. Yeah. Like this is not a rebrand. You're just doing the same thing raisins in here. Mm. I'm done. <laughs> Trying to rebrand my life. And I think y'all have noticed. <laughs> the dainty pickup. All right. Dainty salad eater. Because I get so many comments. Hey, she wishes. Right. Comments on this. Like, uh. What's with all the jump cuts? Yeah, it's weird. That's a lot of editing, more than she usually does. This is also ferocious first meal activities. Mm hmm We miss the old Chantal, Booty Beauty. You're more boring now. You've lost your 
fun spark, and I promise you, it's not something that con that I'm. <laughs> she absolutely did lose her spark. And I think y'all have noticed because I get so many comments on this. Hold like, on. Uh, We miss the old Chantel, Booty Beauty. We miss the old Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the old Chantel. The smoke and drive Chantel. Uh huh. The drink and rage Chantel. Mm hmm. You're more boring now. You've lost your fun spark. And I promise you, it's not something that, con that I'm forcing like this change. Yes, it is. I mean, it literally is. Yep. Um, I've still had my moments there. Did she just go cross-eyed? Um, I've still had my moments there. Is she going cross-eyed up? And she's looking at the food so close to her face. I think she got a little cockeyed there for a second. Mm -hmm. But I cannot imagine... That bread with soup inside would be good. It's gonna be all mushy. It's gonna be all mushy, ooey gooey bread. Uh -huh. Then you gotta eat it all carefully so you don't rip a hole in the outside. But I don't understand this. Why? Why? I don't. <laughs> I don't know why this is. A thing. <laughs> John Galt said, "Who said you were fun? You were just doing crackhead activities that we could watch safely." Right. It, it, for a minute there, it was the greatest reality show on the internet. Mm -hmm. For the most part. I just feel like my interests have changed a lot. My way of thinking. Like about, she doesn't about, like, like every, she always says, oh, people want me to go back with the crackhead, my abuser, blah, blah, blah. We just want you to find a man that will tell you no so that you can freak the fuck out. That's all she needs. Mm -hmm. I'm and bread bowls are delicious. More calm. It makes no That's sense. Like they seem so messy and, and mushy. Weird before. Um, I'm almost almost 40, so I feel like I've grown. All right, time to grow up, babe. What, what did she, oh, did she say I'm almost, 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 almost 40? Mm -hmm. About life. I'm more calm. That's why I'm not as like hyper and weird as before. Um, I'm almost. No, you're not doing drugs. I mean, it's okay to calm down, I'm but you're just boring. Calm. That's why I'm not as like hyper and weird as before. Um, I'm almost almost forty, so. <laughs> she did. <laughs> She's almost almost forty. I feel like I've grown up a little bit in that respect. As you should. So, Maybe you should pay your taxes. <laughs> I feel like I've like everybody else is forty. And, like toned down in that respect. Which I know you guys are not used to, but like, it's so good. Um, I know more rice. I know you're gonna. I know you hate carbs. I get it. <laughs> no, you should hate carbs. Right? Do you like feet? No. <laughs> she like hates feet. They make her have to get up and walk around. <laughs> if she had no feet, she could just lay. Do you like airplanes? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That will never not be funny. I don't think we can even tell people about that. No, I don't I mean, you need the context yeah, to understand. But God, that was the funniest shit. I was crying. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, Chantel, you... <laughs> you... If you like... Boats? <laughs> God damn it. If you like walking and having... Your limbs? Yeah. Maybe limbs. cut down on the rice. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be a bony girl. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to eat all this rice. <laughs> Probably do some damage, but... Um, Warren. <laughs> so whenever I took my shahada... La ilaha. La ilaha. Illa Allah. This is so gross. Uh-huh. Airplane is so quotable. Dude, I'm, I, got, I have to tell you this story. I have to tell you this. Yeah, story. You can, you'll have to tell him secretly. <laughs> She's not even saying it right. <coughs> Frenchie was right. She did say yo ha hi hu. <laughs> really did. God damn. Okay, <laughs> man. All right, fine. Um, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Welcome to Islam. You are officially Muslim now. <laughs> I feel like that would be something you stand up for. 
You would think, or kneel. Or, or like. Yeah, you would think you would kneel, like, on the prayer rug for that. I would just sit in a chair. Which I guess is like, officially becoming Muslim. You take an oath. You take an oath. Chantel, you no Muslim is gonna jump to your defense because you say you're Muslim. What I wanna know, she she repeated all the words the lady said. Did she know what the words were? No. Did she like study it beforehand and know what she was oathing? Or did she just repeat the words and oathing. smile for salad? Oathing. Uh-huh. And I did that. Well, the first time. You did that, me. but what did you say? What were the words? Because I wanted to be married as a Muslim woman, officially. So I took my shahada. Oh, it's not even an oath, it's a prayer. Thank you, John. Woman, officially. So I took my shahada. She really is going cockeyed. Look at that. She, she's making sure she licked every drop off that spoon. With oh, one, she's looking out like this. With one eye? Look, no, this, she's going like this. She, she's she's got, got one eye on the, the spoon and one eye on salad. <laughs> she's just keeping it close to her face and looking at it. John said, I'm getting tripped. Oh my God, when did that happen? Mm. Because I oh, that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is why I said bread bowls are silly. I would not want one. Well, you got to get the sourdough bread. You can't puncture through the side of it. This is just a loaf of bread. It looks like a giant dinner roll. Yeah, it does. Look at that. <laughs> She's so angry about whatever salad didn't do. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie poopsie. Oh, that's where you fucked up. I, I, I want to watch it. I wonder if she doesn't notice it because it's behind. I hope she doesn't notice it. Can we watch it in slow-mo? I want to watch this in slow-mo. And she's digging in. She's looking for... What's a sport I could base this off of? Professional hide and seek. <laughs> she's looking for the thing that'll take care of that binge monster somewhere down in there. She's digging the spoon and oh, and she hit the side and there goes the food. All right, one more time. Oh boy, look at that. It, it, that looks so watery too. I bet she was pissed when she realized her you soup see, was gone. You see how watery that is? It's not food. No. I wanted to be married. Oh, fuck. she doesn't even know. That's hilarious. I wanted to be married as a Muslim woman. As a Muslim woman, officially. So I took my shahada. And, um. I almost did it again. <clears throat> when I did that, you fill out a form. Does she not notice half the soup just disappeared? Right. It just was full, and then it just was empty, and she just <laughs> thought she ate it. And they asked you if you want to change your name, like, to a Muslim name. And I did. <laughs> but I never I loved it. it. She just has no clue. <laughs> Until now. But the name that I talked to, Salah, he really liked, liked the name Maryam. You let your husband pick your name. Mm -hmm. As long as he would go along pretending he was married to her. John, is that common for if, a, if someone converts, reverts, that their boyfriend picks their name? Maybe if they're only doing it to get married? Maybe. And they said, you know, have your, ask your husband what name he would like you to take. And oh, if yeah, you like it as well, it's a thing. You can change your name. But I have my legal name. But Salad does not call her Miriam. He's never called her Miriam in the videos. He always calls her Chantel. Mm -hmm. Well, so what was the point of giving her the name? John says no, not at all. Well, she said the lady told her to ask her husband what name he would like her to take. You're right. She thought Miriam meant starfish. That's why she picked that. Ah, yeah. I do remember that. And then I have my Muslim name. So the pious Muslim woman chose a name that made her go sex tee hee 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 sex tee hee. That's what she chose for her name. Very, very adult, Miriam. So. She still has a note. Look, it's. Everywhere. Oh, she what finally that? found it. This is a clean plastic thing, but. Yeah, good thing you have your tarp down. That's why Anyways. she has a tarp down. Uh huh. That sucks. 
Is she, is she gonna, is she gonna like finish the other food and pick up the tarp and like dump it into her mouth? <laughs> she, she, she holds it and folds it. Right. Uh, if she was right, the only reason she's in Kuwait is uh, Scamman Nader said no proper Muslim would marry you. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. She wanted to prove him wrong. Um. So yeah, the majority of my audience just like... Mm. Look how look, much... Look, she cleaned it all up in between the cut. Look how much food disappeared during this cut. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she ripped this side of the bread off and just woof, it wiped it, it all over. She mopped it up to eat it. She, Jesus. No, no calorie left behind. None. Jeez. God. Okay, here's the question. Hmm. Would she do that if it spilled, like, on the table at a restaurant? Would she rip the bread and mop it up, like, on, off the table? Probably. Disgusting. So yeah, the Run it back. Well, well, hopefully, okay. at a restaurant, this <laughs> bread bowl would be on a plate. Hopefully. One, one more time. I wish it would have been uh, <clears throat> the other direction, so it went all down the front of the table and onto her hungry hijab that needs a bite <laughs> of food also. Okay. <laughs> well, it, look, she's just so unbothered. Mm -hmm. She still got her calories. She'd mop it off the floor. Yeah. It should have been. Right. Um. Can't let it go to waste. Cut that out. Or she's, she's probably just like. Damn it, man. <laughs> and just shoved it right shoving back. Shoving it all up in there and then just stuffed it in her face. <coughs> oh, there it is. You could have done a better job of cleaning up, Chantel. You left a lot there behind. I mean, you can tell she didn't move. No. She just ripped the edge of the bowl off. Look how much... Look how many pickles went missing and look how much rice went missing. Watch. Yeah. One pickle. No, just one pickle, but the big chunk of rice out of the middle. So probably one or two bites. Yeah, she she had a bunch of rice, ate a quarter of the bread bowl, and a bunch of pickles, and no, no leaves are missing. All the leaves. No, are still the leaves there. are still there. So yeah, the majority of my audience just like wants me to go back to um, Canada. Wants me to go back to the same life. Like maybe not exact same, but the days of being in the kitchen in the villa, like all that's gone. It's not ever coming back. Um, I, I really hope that within a short amount of time we see her right back there and then people can just replay this clip. Oh, yeah. I love Spot the Difference games. <laughs> this is a new phase of my life. I love Islam. I love my life here. I love the culture. I love Kuwait. You, you do nothing for any of those things. No. You do nothing to indulge yourself in the culture. You it's don't practice any... Muslim traditions or religions. She eats the food. She likes the food. Yeah. She likes... She likes pretend husbands. She likes food. And she likes covering her head. Yeah. And hiding her chins. I love the Middle East. You've been there for a year and all you know is food words. I don't want to go back to what I, I experienced before already. So, for those of you who are still here, if you're going to continue to watch my content, you'll have to accept that. Um, it's going to be different, and this is the new me. She you almost lost a finger I there. I wish she would have just found an actual, like, Canadian guy who would have also probably been a loser in his mom's basement, but would have just loved her just to have a girlfriend. Yeah. Some incel, like a Pete's. Yeah, I'm sure she could have found somebody. We talked about this while you were gone. She would never date her own level. No, but that's what she needed, and she could have actually been happy and in a real relationship rather than just a show husband. Yeah. And she can't really think salad's going to be forever. No. There'll be no more discussing other people, drama. Uh, I won't talk about drama. Here we go. Thank you. Well, pop, pop. Hot dog, that's pop. But the guy. <laughs> Mayu for the twenty-two fifty-five. Good evening, Sin and Shelley. Thank you. Good evening, Mayu. 
Good evening. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, Hammer Beans. S Jam would have been perfect for her. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what she needed. Just some it's regular the, dude. It, that's it. Things that Islam is against. I privated all the I'm sorry, videos. I'm sorry, what that was have, it? I privated all my videos that have my former hair. Like I said, my hair doesn't look like that anymore. But anything too, like where my, you know, all my old videos basically. So no one can see them, you think? You think they're gone now? Already I've seen a lot of people saying, well, this will kill. I, I, I gotta hear what she was saying. All of those things that Islam is against. You, you mean like gluttony? Yeah, no, not that thing. Like, being shitty to people? No, definitely not that thing. Like, animal abuse? No, not that thing. Like, drug use? No, not that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hijab part. I privated all the my food. videos that have my former hair. Like I said, my hair doesn't look like that anymore. But, anything too, like where my, you know, all my old videos basically. Well, they're just, all of them are gone from the internet forever. None so of them exist. think about that, too. <laughs> that those videos are gone from her channel. Like, people probably were still watching those. She was probably still getting views and money on those old oh, videos. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. She deleted hours and hours worth of revenue from her channel. Probably a good... Now, I'm not going to sit here and go, well, people were watching these on the regular. No, but they were probably but getting pro views. It was probably a couple hundred a month, maybe. Right. right. Especially the old streams. Yeah. Pro probably at least $300 a month. Yeah. Already I've seen a lot of people saying, well, this will kill your channel. This is killing your channel. Good, you know, good luck. It is. That. Well, name changes and deleting a ton of videos fucks you up in the algorithm. Yes. I don't live my life with my channel, like, in mind, like... You do. Everything you do is about I wonder how this will affect my channel, but I don't make decisions in my life based on how many numbers. Like, I don't chase numbers with my channel, and... See, that's interesting, because you would think a woman who has zero prospect of doing anything else for money. Yeah. She cannot get a regular job. She has to YouTube. Mm-hmm. There is nothing else for her to do to be like, well, I don't care about the numbers. I don't care if nobody watches me. Okay, then, are you going to literally starve to death? Are you going to, yeah, are you going to get a job? Are you going to be homeless? Right. What are you going to do? Is she going to go work at Walmart? No. It would be very fake of me to do that, you know. I'm sorry. One more time. It would be very fake of me to do that. Then this, everything right here. This is not fake. None all. of this is fake. No. No. Not fake at all. This is real. It's Chantel. Girl. This is a real person. Shut she's, up. she's a real woman. Shush. You know. Adopt a belief system and religion based on what other people want me to do and expect from me. Someone took Foodie B and uploaded all the important compilations. Just saying, barbecue chicken. And so, oh. oof. Good. Good. So. I saw somebody took the at foodie B and it was woof woof with the screenshot of the That's holy white cute. ass. <laughs> oh damn, we're almost at forty percent to goal. Nicely done, guys. Thank you very much. Good job with the math. That's why I rebranded my channel. She rebranded her channel because this documentary is going to come out and new people might see it and find her and search Foodie Booty and then see her old videos and realize that it's actually the same person as this is. Yep. So now she can just pretend she's not that person. Uh -huh. I can't get behind channel or stealing names. Well, it's not stealing. She changed it. So she it was change it. It was open. It was open. The content won't change much later. Well. I mean, and Foodie B is not really... Why would she have not had it Foodie Booty? Why would she just have it Foodie B? That's I, stupid. No idea. I'm still gonna do live streams and stuff like that. Um, but a little bit better, and I'll be able to do a lot more. Show you guys around Kuwait.
show you guys different places of the world, inshallah. Yeah, okay. Oh, Joanna, is that why somebody took the handle a cameo of Everyday Miriam? That's why she didn't change her name? <laughs> that could be. Dan, the like videos. What? Okay, I, what does she do in the day? Eat. Oh, someone took the at Foodie Beauty last time she changed her name. Ah. Uh. My life is not very exciting. It's pretty domestic right now. <laughs> so. Pretty domestic right now. She's really, she really said she's domestic. Look how much food disappeared in that cut. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Very domestic of her. Look at that. Good bird. Uh, Chantel changed her whole life for a man. That's a fact. Yep. I know she has a preference for Arab men. But there are Arab men who are Christian or atheist. She didn't have to drastically alter her life. Yes, she did. She, she feels like she did. There is no moderation. Right. She's got to go all the way with everything. So yeah, rebranding my life, rebranding my channel as a result because my channel is usually about me, right? <laughs> I'm de I'm domesticated, but I still eat like I'm feral. So right. Right. Is going to go uh, undergo a change, especially if I have a, such a big lifestyle it's like change. Like the 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 ladies who get those mini cows and bring them in the house as pets. Yeah. <laughs> She's domesticated like those mini cows. Domestic, but not housebroken. <laughs> The lifestyle is in Canada. Look at that cute kitty. This is a good kitty. A lot different. Well, there goes the green screen, I do. Yep. Look at that cat. This is a good cat. Tear some stuff up, cat. Get it. Sperm Sorry, everywhere. Sperm <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> delicious but yeah I just feel more calm and at peace and feel calm and at peace because you changed your channel name yep life changing <laughs> it's a <laughs> what does that even mean I, I don't see how a, a few letters on the screen changes your life at all Julia does probably miss her family. Hungry fucking whore. <laughs> uh, diabetic speed waddle, one toe at a time. Oh, what a name. A powerful quill. This fits. It do fit. Thank you. At home right now. And it might seem very weird, but that's how I feel, you know? I still have faith in a deportation bees, maybe, uh, maybe. And all of these changes are my own. That would be amazing. Um, nobody else's. Like, not my husband's. What, what is the other arm doing? Uh -huh. This is me, like this is how I And also it. no fork again. Uh -huh. And um. Forks are head cam. Yeah. Not much more to say about that. Oh, I thought you guys were fucking around. Are forks actually illegal in Kuwait? <laughs> I don't think so. She's had a fork before, hasn't she? I don't know. Uh, what? What is lying it? to you? I th mm. I'm no longer finished. I'll save the rest. Um, Shut up, John. Yeah, you're probably wondering who's Miriam. It's my Muslim name change from when I took my Shahada, became Muslim. Um, that's that. So that's the explanation, the long, long winded explanation, but had to have dinner anyway. So, uh, I mean, if my content, my life is not your thing anymore, I totally get that. You know, that's fine. It's the same content. It, yeah, nothing here is different. If you're going to be 
Muslim Lady Channel, take us out Abaya shopping and, and show us your prayer rug collection. Do Muslim Lady things. I changed my channel name. I'm not changing any of the content, but I changed the channel name. Yeah. Um, I have to live my life. Again, not just chasing numbers or doing things uh, for clout or whatever. I, I, I want to do things, uh, be genuine to myself. Um, and only I can decide what that is. And I feel like I am where I need to be right now. So anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. She, you know, the second that camera cut, she ate everything. Oh, yeah. She probably didn't even get up. No, she finished her food. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way she's going to leave that there. No. Uh, let's check that like ratio. How is the 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 supper bowl going? We I mean we saw foodies it, it broke. The but supper bowl. <laughs> how's the supper bowl going? <laughs> are, are, is everybody having fun? Because that's what really counts. Yeah. Guys, smash that like button. We have seven hundred and fifty people watching and three hundred likes. That don't matter. Smash that like, share it out. The things down below, songs and packages and all that fun stuff. Uh, okay, a little oh my god content. Yeah, shut up. Uh, have we had a club? No. Dono, perfectly timed stream boss or squee? Nope. Have we had the goal? No. Have you threatened to call the cops? Not yet. Have we had hearts in the chat? Uh, I don't think so. Have we had farts on you? No. Have you been the captain? Technically no, but for a second. It, no neighbor shenanery, no gym talk, but we can get an all hail blue whale. That's true. That we we should get one of those. Let's get an all hail blue whale in the chat. Rate me up. I'm so stuck on the spilled soup and that was the so takeout messy. being my yeah, it, it's hilarious. Hi, hilarious. Egyptian food mukbang, koshery and ma blah blah blah. Okay, that's what it says. That's ma what it does say. Ma blah ma ha blah blah. That's the shit Doodle Bob said. Me oi me oi <laughs> me oi me oi. I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh my god. Okay, now you're in charge for a second. Hold on. What is this from? Anybody know what this is from? It's, it's got to be a cartoon, right? Yeah. Is it SpongeBob or something silly like that? <laughs> that that's what the dish oh, is. That's what Chantel's that's, that's what the dish is called. <laughs> that's Chantel's dinner. Uh, Egyptian food mukbang. Uh, koshery and... I'm sorry, guys. I am Boomer. I'm old. I never watched SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to. Hey, I know your girlfriends love to watch me. I know your girlfriends love watching me. Uh, gaslight? Are we, are we gaslighting? Yes. Technically. So, what better nice. way to say I love you this Valentine? I'm old Greg. You ever drink Bailey's out of a shoe? You like airplanes? Day, then to get your really? special someone a personalized video from me on Cameo. Get yours now and don't delay. Make Valentine's Day a special day. Uh, well, hello, guys. I love rhyming day with day. Mm -hmm. not, not celebrate Very Valentine's good. a special way. Not Valentine's Day. Oh, I guess she couldn't do my way. <laughs> guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So today I am eating for, it's like lunchtime, so oh. I'm having koshery. You're, you're, oh, okay, hold on. I, I want to hear, I want to hear her explain this. For, it's like lunchtime, so I'm having koshery, and I thought I would share with you. I'm having Egyptian food, not just koshery, um, but I'm having koshery as the main, and then I have a sausage sandwich of sorts. The backup sandwich. That's a crazy sandwich. You want to see my downstairs mix up? <laughs> and I have some mahalabia, like a pudding, milky pudding. They usually put like milky and stuff and they didn't. Pudding. Okay. That sounds fucking disgusting. I know that when I get hungry and I have a little bit of a sweet tooth on the end of it, I go right for the milk pudding. Yeah, milky pudding. So, yum. Bismillah. Let's open she said so bismillah this time. What is. What is that? Koshery. That's noodles with elbow the noodles. Linguini and beans? It looks like it. Noodles and beans. That's gotta be a lot. That looks heavy. Yum. Noodles and beans. That looks very heavy. And she's got a sausage. She's got a backup sandwich and like three other tubs of food. Yep. What? K 
calorie count. Price is right, the calorie count here. No because Two or 3,000 probably. <laughs> <laughs> Pooping his pants. I don't understand. It's, it's a guy thing. You wouldn't understand. There we go. Farts on Shelly. Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, we're, all, we're all the way over here. I gotta bring this up. Hey, Sins, today's my 23rd birthday. So here's a fart Miss Sin cannot argue about. I love you guys. Happy birthday. Thank you, Abyssal Panda. Nice name, too, by the way. Thank we'll you. Get hearts you. in the chat for the birthday. Hearts in the chat for birthday. It's like a carb hater's nightmare. There is chickpeas, pasta. A carb hater's um, nightmare. Chantel, you're the one that's supposed to be eating less carbs. It's like she's doing it on purpose. I know you guys don't like when I eat carbs, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's literally... That are, you, are you doing this to hurt yourself? Just to torture the audience? 4K. I think, yeah, we're probably in the 4K. It's suicide of the unmotivated. Yeah. The, look at that. You hate carbs, so I'm going to get pasta right. with pasta. And bread <laughs> and peas. Mm -hmm. They have put brown rice, lentils, vermicelli. Oh, so it's it's lentils, pasta, pasta, peas, rice, uh huh, sandwich, uh huh, and pudding, and pudding, and whatever okay. the other two containers are, it's sauces and things to put on stuff. See that underneath. Um. This looks fucking awful. It does not look good. That's for sure. And oh, no. butter. Here, have some unflavored. Oh, she's going to pour some sauce all over it. Oh. Yeah, we're going to just eat some unflavored right now. Mm -hmm. You put a tomato sauce on it. So let's do that now. So you're. So she's making spaghetti. With extra steps. Without the bones. And with rice and peas. Uh huh. Oh. Wait, where's the rice? There's no rice in there. Look at this. Where's the rice? I don't see any rice. This is mind-boggling. I'm not saying anything. No, don't say anything. We, we see it. But we see it. We're, we're all just taking a look. We see it. It's under the nudes. Oh, okay. But nudes. Uh, looks like dollar store brand ramen. John's like spoon. <laughs> <laughs> just the 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 the. Appendages. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, honey. No, never mind. Moving on. Yum. Mm. Yum. She's making spaghetti. Babe, look, she made your favorite. It's spaghetti. Whoa! Overflow much. Overflow. Why are you're you? probably Whoa. supposed to put it in a bowl and toss it. Whoa! I poured it all okay. in there. So you, you didn't have to pour it all in there, dummy. Tomato sauce very carefully. I guarantee you, there's supposed to be extra steps for this. I don't know. Like you're probably supposed to put it in a bowl and toss it and mix it up. Maybe. Then you add these. We're doing more. Oh, more. Onions. Oh, oh all I'm of add those. A little too. bit at a time because this is really messy. <laughs> That, that, that movement right there is exactly how I prep a bowl of cereal. Yeah. You like tap it. Mm hmm. Good cereal. Good cereal. Good cereal. <laughs> and more. Do you know is what it? I do with my cereal? I don't push it down into the milk. I push it up the sides of the bowl so that it stays dry and it stays crunchy. And then as I eat it, I put it on the side of the bowl. I do not like the mushy bits. My favorite is when there's like just a couple bites left and they're way up high, so they're still super dry, and then you can eat crunchy cereal all the way at the end. Don't tell anybody else that story. That's how you're supposed to eat cereal. You keep it, keep it crunchy. Garlic oil stuff is now, so good. Don't get all in the milk so it gets all soggy right away. What are you doing? I'm judging my sin so hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't pour the milk first, though. That's why you can never eat Captain Crunch? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't eat Captain Crunch. It's too much. I fucking love Captain Crunch. No, Mama Kimmins also does this. I stand with Miss Sin. Oh, this is yeah, a thing. Crunchy cereal is better. You got to get it out of the milk. The milk is great. You drink the milk, you eat the milk, <laughs> but you just one bite at a time, or at least bites at a time can go into the milk. You can't get it all out, but you, you push some at the edge to Shut save up. for the end. Look. Oh, my goodness. Are you the floofiest baby? If you got the belly up. You're the floofy belly baby. Aww. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah. You got to remember it's a struggle meal, like when you find when you don't feed a Japanese student craft. Yep. I don't know, man. I, this could be a struggle meal if I saw her boil the fucking pasta. Like the all the ingredients here, sans the the, the main bowl ingredients are pasta, beans, and sauce. Are you gonna make this for two dollars and fifty cents? Technically, probably yeah. But she probably spent twenty five dollars per dish here. Yeah, it's probably fifty bucks American. Mm. What the fuck is that? Right. Just some juice? Oh, all over. Where? Where what, are the juice? What was the juice made out I of? I have no idea. Oil stuff is so good. Oh, it's oil. Oh, let's put oil in our noodles. And add that on this stuff here. I love how she doesn't even, like, taste these things she's putting in. She's like, I'm going to put this in. They gave me a bowl of this. I'll put that in. Like, she doesn't even know if she likes it yet. She's yeah. just going to dump it in. Well, it doesn't matter because she's going to eat it. Right. It's not like she's not going to eat it. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ah! I have to do laundry today anyways, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then this hot sauce. I'm going to see how She's very is. domestic. She's going to do laundry. Uh-huh. I lost my friend Daniel in a car accident last night. Thank you, Senator Shelley, for the laugh tonight. Oh, I'm oh, so sorry, man. Oh, my goodness. Man. Hearts you, in the chat. Hearts in the chat. That, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, it's all tossed together. Some poor Egypt mom in 1934 put it together. It's all she had. When I lived alone before I had kids, before I was, you know, when I was bacheloring, mm -hmm. my brother and I would trade bachelor recipes. And it was just what we had. You were having girl dinner every day? Ground beef was a big... You just fry up some ground beef. There's some corn. I'll throw some corn in there. I got cheese. I'll put some cheese in the bowl. Uh, What else do we have? We got rice? No, maybe not rice. <laughs> like, we would just go... I, mean, I made this, and it'd just be a bowl of, like, dog food. <laughs> and then be like, well, I made this, and it's a bowl of other dog food. <laughs> Before I just... <coughs> Or tuna. That's how I started fucking with the tuna and the side dish thing. That is so disgusting. Because that's a two dollar day of food. You just get a can of albacore. white it bachelor? Literally bachelor chow. Mm -hmm. Peppers, pe uh, jalapenos, your bell peppers. Those are big in there. They taste delicious. Anyway, um, the shit I just lost. Oh, the. I it, I would just get a can of like your albacore white whatever, and those little north side things, you know, the cheesy noodles. Disgusting! The, I know it, you've cooked it here before, and it makes the whole house fucking stink. And I would just I just cook the noodles normally, and then I just take the whole can of tuna and, <laughs> and slop it in a bowl, Gross. and I, that's the food for the day. She just went live. It's 5.30 a.m. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hold on. Oh, good morning. Cell mm. is not home. She's been waiting all night for her husband to get home. He's still not there. Still Sunday right there. God is my vaccine. Is this what she wears to bed? And she expects us to believe her and Salad have a, a wild sex life? He's not there. And she, she's, she just wears grandma pajamas around. She's Yeah, it's, Zach, this is like over 10 years ago she a she is not just waking up and b he's not there so it doesn't matter right yeah that's hot so we'll just add a little bit he's out pooping on strangers right mr jack <laughs> all right let's go in for some of this what is Chantal eating carbs carbs carb soup with noodles uh leftover hammer helper toss it on bread yeah man I, I don't think women understand, like, if we're not cooking for people, we will eat tuna with mac and cheese in a bowl. And I was trying to describe this to Miss Sin. And, like, my favorite type of food, besides sandwiches, whatever you eat out of a bowl with a fork... Uh -huh. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like ba bachelor chow, but with a fork. Right. Not with a spoon, because yeah. because forks are illegal. Yeah. Mm. 
Mmm. Mm. The tomato sauce has like garlic seasonings. It tastes like to me. Oh, hot dogs and chicken fingers were a fucking delicacy, Cypher. What do you mean? It's really yummy. Oh, man, I love kosher. I forgot. <laughs> I've done that with tuna. It, not only that, but it is protein carbs. Not No other horseshit. Protein carbs. How it tastes. Oh, yeah, over the sink. No, I, I'll... I'm, I'm a paper plate motherfucker. <laughs> Since the last time I had it. Mmm. Taco meat and cheese with chips. Oh, fucking for sure. Let's try the sandwich. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's not true. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Hot dogs cut up in baked beans. My favorite was cutting up like all beef franks in mac and cheese. I don't like mac and cheese. Oh, man. So I just wanna like. I fucked up the last time I made mac and cheese. I cleaned the pot, but I must not have rinsed it well enough and I'm eating it like. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You made soapy mac and cheese. But, babe, this is, it, but it was clean. It but there must like have been like soap. There must have been like a little soap left at the bottom. Yeah. Because I, I cleaned it and I rinsed it and I wiped it, but I must have missed a little bit. And I'm eating it like, this tastes a little. Dawn dish soap. This tastes like Dawn seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify something about the changes I'm making. And I, I oh. wanted the mac and cheese so bad, I forced myself to eat like half of a bowl of it. Like, this tastes like fucking shit, dude. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, Even the kids noticed it wasn't good. <laughs> Just open <soap and> cheese. <laughs> I'm not. Do up ramen with noodle or with the frozen veggies. I, I don't know what it was, but I would make m scrambled eggs and put it in ramen. Ramen with the summer sausage and cheese? Yeah. Uh, That's jail food. I've done that before. But when you didn't have a microwave, you just had to put the ramen in a bowl of water. And when you're done taking a shit, for hours tell your kids to go brush their teeth. Be a man. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what it was, but ramen and scrambled eggs was the shit for a little bit. Uh, soups are my favorite bachelor meat. Ugh. Just throw stuff in a pot and water at season. Okay, that's more of a stew, but yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, so ignorant as to not be aware of the fact that my past self is very different from this one. And in my past self, I didn't care what I put out on. My first boyfriend used to eat just rice aroni and drink instant iced tea. I mean, look, man. He survived. You, you, when you're poor, you gotta you gotta do it together. And by the way, we're gonna have to go buy some North Sides, some cans of tuna, <laughs> some mac and cheese, and hot dogs. Cause holy shit, this is shaping up to be a rough one. Online, because I was very open and just like I didn't care. Like I was just like I didn't think of like someday maybe I'll feel differently about how I project. He was a man of culture. Myself online. Um, I know that. Once something's on the internet, it's pretty much forever. It's the nice Tino things. I I like I love sun tea. Um, for me it was spam. I hate, I hate spam. Yeah, I don't like I, spam. It's, it's too salty. It's so fucking salty. But I I don't. It doesn't really bug me. Like. The only instant, quote unquote, tea is it, 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 that's acceptable. Well, I like pure leaf. That's okay. But ghetto tea. Yeah. Ghetto tea is never not good. I don't think it meets the barest qualifications of tea. It's good. But it's so good. <laughs> I didn't make this change to my channel to run away or avoid. Like, oh, so she's just double. She's double fisting. Mm -hmm. It's sandwich and fucking carbs. Mm -hmm. My past online reputation. Mm. No, that's not why Chantel. It didn't even occur to me that people wouldn't know what ghetto tea is. Ghetto tea is from a company here called Dairyman's, and it's their iced tea. And it comes in a little half gallon jug. Well, no, it, they have the cups, the half gallons, and then the gallons. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I think I drink it. <laughs> I think that at one point it was like a dollar for the gallon, mm -hmm. maybe a dollar fifty. So it, it just got called ghetto tea, and it it to this day is a delicacy. It's good. It's 
It's something I'll always have to live with. Luckily for me, the only person I'll be needing to be accountable to is God. I think it... I think, uh... Dairyman's is only... Yeah, I think that's a... It, like, I think just in... Ohio like, thing. Yeah. And God is merciful and forgiving. Yeah, God might forgive you, but BBJ hasn't. Yeah, BBJ will never. Dude, she j inhaled that sandwich. Yeah, it was a good sandwich, apparently. Good sausage sandwich is good. It is healthy to be held accountable. I'm doing it just because, for me, the foodie beauty I was. Are you... F <laughs> you done? Uh huh a cuff rattling over there. Is gone. But you're still eating. The whole foodie booty is eating and that's all you're doing. I don't think she likes this food. She probably shouldn't have put all that shit in it before she even tasted it. Because that sandwich is going to be gone and she's going to have to eat that bowl of nasty. Mm -hmm. And people can rush and take the handle, the foodie beauty handle... You're still not going to be foodie beauty, so what does it matter? <laughs> I, does she think people took her handle because they want to be her? You're not. It's, they want to be me so bad they want to take my name. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. that's what she thinks. Uh -oh. They're not doing it just to troll her so she can't have it back. Uh -oh. Audrey's sleeping so peacefully. Gray, you leave her alone. Uh -oh. uh, Otter's belly up sleeping. Gray just in here fucking around now. Come on, Gray. Yes, Foodie Beauty is only someone I could be. Yeah, nobody else wants to be you, Chantel. That's not how YouTube's, YouTube names work. They don't just take the handle and then become you. Just idolize her so much. Oh, damn. We're like halfway to goal, guys. Thank you oh, very yeah. much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. For my cameos, I'm just going to keep it Foodie Beauty. I could change the name, but whatever. So if you want to can't... Who are you one. crying for? She's Cameo. so squeaky. You can that one. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Remember that? Like it, it, yeah, it's a churro. It's got to be warmed up. I don't know. Never had You've never had a churro? No. Oh, they're bitch. Good, good. Your life is about to change. I, I hope she secretly hates it. <laughs> But who I was when I started Foodie Beauty, and who I am now. There is no difference. You're not eating makeup. I think that's the biggest difference. Is you're not you're not eating makeup. But if you had makeup and it said edible, you would probably eat it. Very different people. Very different. And, yeah. Oh my God. And what? And what? <laughs> so I'm, I didn't make these changes to, you know, people, I've seen people say, changing your YouTube name doesn't change who you are. No, I changed who I am. So I'm changing kind of my channel identity. And Then you're not foodie beauty anymore. So why are you upset somebody took it? Um, oh, smelly cat, I'm doing that thing where I tap the side of my nose and I point at you. Never escape your past. I'm not trying to. You might never be able to escape the past, but you are trying to delete it, which is why the stream goal is what it is, and then that's, this is a cheap Streamlabs shill, and I'm not even bothering. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I started strong, but then it just fell off halfway through. I'm seepy. Um, at all. I am. The missile is EP. You know, I'm not trying to rewrite history. Okay. You, your life is about to change, babe. Okay. Okay, you put it I in the microwave. I it for 15 seconds. That wasn't too long, I think, is it? No, it's not supposed to be mushy. Uh, no. It's not, it's supposed I didn't know we had to eat it right away. Yeah, no, you gotta eat these, like, as soon as I come out of the oven. 
Oh, it's good, though. You like it? Mm-hmm. Now imagine if it was crispy, because mm. that's how they're supposed to be. It's good. They're supposed to be crispy. Ice cream. Uh, cool whip. That would be delicious. You know, so for people trying to rub my past in my face. You, no, you you are rubbing your own past past in your face. Uh huh. I almost said f face. Like you a face. want to be this person now, but how can you be when you were this person? All right, okay. Jennifer. Pop. No more beezing. No more beauty bites. No more mukbangs. Right. That's all beauty booty stuff. Mm hmm. In the present are very different tenses, time tenses. Past and the present are very different tenses, time tenses. T time tenses. Mm hmm. Every single day is a new day for change, like a new opportunity to improve yourself. Change is just becoming Instagram. And I don't quotes. mean improve self improvement yeah. as in. Every day is a new day for change. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Chantel. Like financial gain, you know, going and getting like lip fillers, like physically and stuff like that. I mean, like self improvement, like on a soul level. And I care. Yeah, you could work on the soul level. But you might want to do something about that, like, extra 350 pounds you're carrying around. Mm -hmm. If Chantel was, like, actually hot, she would absolutely be getting lip fillers and Botox oh, and all this shit. Oh, fuck, yeah. She absolutely would. She would look like that filter thing she did. Mm-hmm. Like, God doesn't care what you look like. Like, he made you, you know? And something he ugly created people you. It's something ugly people say to make themselves feel better. He, he didn't make you eat all these carbs, though. Hey, he, God made us in his image, supposedly. But he didn't go, you should eat You should take the body that I gave you and completely destroy it and give it no care whatsoever. I don't think Allah wants you to do that. Yeah, you should go eat all of it. Right. All of what? Everything you can. <laughs> You're, play Pac-Man. That's not going to impress him. How do you I know? thought you were in this life. No, Which but Allah would be impressed if you took care of the vessel that he gave you for your soul to live inside of. What if you go to hell for being ugly? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, what if you're too poor for heaven? What if you gotta go to, like, diet heaven? Oh, and no. it, it's just kind of like that shady area in town? Mm -hmm. The only thing that's gonna matter how kind we were to people okay are and, you gonna start doing that yeah have you tried doing that at all at all have you tried being kind to anything that's not you yeah, anything anything at all um how devoted we are to the creator <laughs> are you timu heaven you're not devoted to creator you would be praying when it's pray time, but you don't do it. Did we make a difference somehow? Did you? No. So I'd like to really <clears throat> think of these things for my future, you know? Okay, just think about them. Don't actually do them or anything. Yeah. I'll think about being kind and then I'll scream at someone and selfish. call them names. Chantal, you are the single most selfish human being I have ever seen. Yeah. You try to kill a cat because people liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was fake kind once and later admitted it was fake, like when she said she bought... Oh, yeah. She said she bought drive through food for the homeless guy. Yeah. So, I don't know why I yeah. said that. It didn't happen. And I know it's why would you make that up? My mouth. There's your thumbnail. Hmm. That's perfect, actually. Yeah. When what used to come from my mouth was. You know, anything but. 
um, <laughs> virtual. Laugh said something unfunny. Thank you. Listen, anyway. Okay. Hold on. Hello? Look, she like wraps her head around the bite. Look. She's a snake. Queen Cobra. How? <laughs> yeah, she did trade her laptop to get laid. I think it was probably for drugs, honestly, in Cuba. Yeah, probably. That's what I was More likely size. drugs than to get laid. The yeah. kosher is very filling because it's rich in. Yeah, and you're probably not supposed to eat the whole fucking thing. What do you... Oh, this thing. What do you have? Like, no, not you. What do you think that eating a whole fucking bowl of this is going to do? Carbs. <laughs> Satiate her hunger. I... I th it's, it's an old Louis C.K. joke. Like, the meal's not over when I'm full. The meal is over when I hate myself. Huh? The lentils and chickpeas are good sources of protein, though. Okay. Uh-huh. And the brown rice. Okay. Better get every drop. Oh, she's, she's scraping the, the thing. Mm -hmm. She left a bite. Oh, yeah. Put that aside. It's not a binge. I left a bite. She, she is unhappy. She's got her milk pudding now. She can't eat dessert later. That was you! Oh, what'd you get into, Eve? What'd you do? What she, she got into something. She did something because she's not That was a loud noise. She, she just went and laid down. <laughs> oh, Usually she's over here like, I know you got fucking snacks. She got something out of the kitchen. Let's try this. I ate them all. Mahalabia. They're not very good. I left them on the kitchen counter. I hope she didn't get them. That's probably what you got. Why would you leave that on the counter? Are we even talking or just eating or putting quietly? Could use some pistachios, but... Whatever. Okay, <laughs> you're missing downstairs. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is sped up, right? Yeah. Look, watch how slow this is. Whatever. It's like living your whole life in slow motion. You know, it just clicked. It just clicked. That that ring is probably one of the ones with a... Like, it doesn't close, it just, like, pinches shut, you know what I mean? One of my favorite Arabic desserts. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, She's probably getting ready to go to bed. I just don't, you know, I just wanted to clarify, that's not why I'm, like, made the change to my channel. That's because it was time for a change. <laughs> Even if it's just symbolic. You know? I'm not trying to escape my past at all. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, you literally are. Why do you think our stream goal is Miriam's deleted past? Because mm -hmm. you're trying to escape it. Because. At least not. I think Ala won't see online. it. Because honestly. You're right. I clocked it a while ago. It's gotta be. And I have escaped my past. I'm not living in the past anymore. Everyone online is, but I'm not. So that's all that matters. Yeah, but Nobody it's. Nobody online is living in your past. You had that life. Nobody yeah. else is having that. <clears throat> so in that sense, I have escaped. <laughs> no, you just pretend it's not there. Uh-huh. You never were accountable for anything. You never apologized. You never said, oh, I, this was wrong. Maybe I should have done this differently. You just go, it didn't happen. And blamed other people. Yeah. For the things that she couldn't pretend to It happen. didn't happen, but if it did, it's Nader or Didi or FFG or BBJ's fault. Yep. I've escaped my past self. And... That's something that everyone should do. You know, like, you can't stay stuck in the past. You can't. No, you can't. And a lot of people you can change like your life if you need to change your life. 
But you did my not. My lived like that. Stuck in the past and she was extremely depressed. So now we're just shit talking dead granny? Yep. Depressed. Yeah, she, I wonder why she was depressed. She was forced to raise a giant baby because M Mama Cyril was out chasing her crackhead. Yep. And this is who you are as a person. Of course she was depressed. It's not healthy. To keep beating yourself up over things from the past that you can't change, you know? You never did any beating yourself up about any yeah. of it. You, you never were accountable. You never changed anything. You just did it and then said, shut up. Yeah. And it's done. Repent. Learn from it. Move on. But you're not moving on. You're still talking about it. She brings up her past more than anybody else. Yeah. But She's brought up Nader like four times this week. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Always thinking about him. Yeah, you look very happy to be eating it. Probably very easy to make. Look how red her face is. Yep. She's... Something is angered her. Salad's not home. Salad's never home. I'll have to, um... Check out a recipe. I think, like, um... People ask me about hobbies. I'd like to make, like, a... Cookbooks. Get, like, a scrapbook. Make, like... Cookbooks. One for all my... She's mad he's camping? Did she say he's camping? Because if she did, why is she lying and saying all well, salads in the other room? Right. Arabic recipes I learned. I thought she couldn't wait to go camping with him when they were out terrorizing those camels in the desert. She yeah. says she can't wait to go camping. Why isn't she on the camping trip? Yeah. Why is she not invited? Okay. Is it men and their <laughs> Sharmuta whores only? Not their wives? <laughs> Right, I'm singing. <clears throat> I had that song in my head all day. Anyway, that was really yummy. Pretty good, yeah. Sometimes I crave it. Like, I don't know. Good vegetarian meal. It's actually vegan meal, I think, yeah. She's about to go to bed. She just piled 4,000 calories of carbs in her stomach with a sandwich on top of it and is going to go right to bed. Mm hmm Look at her. She's like, I'm going to bed now. Yep. Yeah, vegan. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any animal products in it. I mean, the kosher is. The, the sandwich, no. But that was yum, yum. Anyways, guys, so I just wanted to clarify that again. Again. Talk about the you past know, again. Um, this is a different phase. Uh-huh. This is a different thing uh -huh. where we do nothing different. Yep, we do the same thing. Different new name. Times. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Bye, guys. We got to see his takeout wrappers and burnt meat as proof he's camping. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, first off, what does that mean? And second off, why would she say he's in the other room if he's not? Weird. Like, why are you lying about him being there? Why not just say he's... Just say he's not there. Say he's with his friends. We know. You know. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see what's going on here. She has a whopping 400 people watching. Wow, I'm surprised. cares if it's clean even if it hurts you no 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 that's different quiet like, that's why um like when i'm in bed and injured no he never pressures me to did she this is definitely getting ready to go to bed if this is her prayer costume why is she wearing it on youtube she is definitely getting ready to go to bed she is not up right now yeah she's this isn't just woke up all right we'll check back in on that Let's take a look at the stream that's just called Just Shatting. Okay. Just Shatting. Guys, smash the like, do the thing. I'm sure it does the math. And then the sharing with the, the stream labs and the stuff. I ha almost halfway to goal. Yay. Yay. Hello. Oh, is she playing a game? What game? Oh, this is fast. Wait, let me bring up my chat on my... I'm supposed to play this with friends. Yeah. I know, but I can't. She's playing it alone? Yeah, okay. We're going to skip over all the faz. Oh, no faz. 
best packing suitcases. Want to a game about stressful. ghosts? Be heck ham. Have an Probably. amazing trip, Italian, and sleep well. And let us know how you uh, are when you get there, if you can. Oh, hit that. Sal is out in the desert having. Um, oh. <laughs> it's like a barbecue, Lexi. Without you. Aww. It wait, wasn't this at like three in the morning? Hmm. Yeah, she just needs to say he's not here. Yeah. He's at a midnight barbecue, you know. <laughs> you know, as pe people do. Yeah, people always barbecue at three a.m. I don't think it's strange that all men hang out together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's not strange. I mean, he has friends to hang out with, you know. And the ones that you haven't run off. Mm -hmm. It gives us a break too. Like, you know. People are not together 24-7, like, we're together, like, 24, 23, or 24, like, 6. Well, no, even more than that, because if he's gone, it's just for a few hours to see his friends, usually, or something. So it's... If he's gone, it's just for a few hours to see his friends. I thought he has a job. That's a good point. If he's gone, it's just for a few hours to see his friends, usually. He just goes and hangs out with his friends for a few hours? No, the fuck he doesn't. Ah, I thought he had a job. He's I'm a starting to put in... Some thought that maybe he has a second family. He might. And he's like, I have to do this. This bitch pay me nine grand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or to go do like work stuff or whatever. I you saw know? the so, I mean, People have lives. Will you put a little cam in the corner? Um, SB, yeah, probably. She really thinks Eventually, she's that cute? Like, she wanted something that looked like K Bella. Yeah. When I can, you know? If I watch it with Super Bowl, probably not. Yeah, I can call him, but I don't think he'll be able to like direct me because I'm pretty like I don't. Everything looks like a different language to me. I can't understand. I, I can call him, but he won't answer. He's not gonna do anything that I say. And anything so. here in the settings, so he'll just do it when he comes back. Yeah, he's out, he's out like not camping, but like barbecuing in the desert. In the it's of the um night. for men only, Lexi. This one, this time. Huh. But whenever I'm feeling better, I will definitely. Men only means they have Sharmuta face farters. Yep. They got torque quickly. They're just pooping all over bitches in the desert right now. It's like a, it's like that scene in Dumb and Dumber. Where Bob Saget. I'm getting my movies mixed up. Where Bob Saget walks in the bathroom. And it's on the walls. Mm -hmm. It's on the ceiling. Definitely be going to do that and I can I can video it or stream it maybe we can do a live stream desert bees I don't know maybe I'll get out of the house so you're gonna go out on a camping trip any, with your I husband uh, and film it and really go pretend you're by yourself here. because you have to pretend your husband's not allowed on YouTube That's yeah weird. hi Bahar I've had people reach right out to, to me jail. to hang out right to jail right away right away right to jail right to Dear God, this fucking terrifying. I know. So, now, what are your grandma saying? Anything? Well, take a look. Oh, they watch my channel, but I don't trust it. <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but I don't trust, like, people, you know, after everything I've been through. So, um, I guess. Oh, here we go. I don't There's know. a Facebook I'll, grandma I'll... comment. Chantel, all this hub hub. Uh -huh. About you changing and sacrificing your identity is nonsense. You are the same old you, essentially at the core, unique and individual. Uh huh. Thank you, Facebook Grandma. She is not welcome. The wives forbid her to be there. I don't. Yeah. Probably she went talking all that shit about the other wife. Yeah, she was talking a whole bunch of shit. She took the water and didn't help him do anything. Yeah. Uh, she eat all food. No help. Let's see. And I haven't right. been feeling the, great. The, I haven't been if feeling they're on social. a camping trip with their families, husbands and wives, the wives are the ones doing everything. Oh, God, yeah. And she was just sitting around getting waited on like one of the men. And she was like, I had a headache. Mm hmm She admitted this, that she didn't help do anything. <sighs> Sacrificing my identity? <laughs> no, I know. I know people are going to think that, Lexi. Camel bees! He's cracking open a cold one, except he can't with the boys. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even have any interest in trying alcohol at all. Like, he has none. Thank you, Crix. You know? So that's good. Oh my gosh, Melly, I do that too. I use my phone. Yep. <laughs> I 
they were all kind to her and she insulted him. Well, yeah. And then they're like, she's like, well, I don't have any friends. I fucking, I wonder why. Right. They were probably all attractive women and she was probably very jealous and oh, yeah. hateful to them. See, don't look at that bitch. Mm -hmm. No, never. Never, Lexi. I hate alcohol. Yeah. Me too now, Teardrop. I don't miss it at all. <laughs> it's done nothing good for me. That's for sure. It brings out the worst of me. Um, it tastes like crap. It makes me sick. So, I don't miss it. It's like literally poison for your body, right? And, I don't know. I mean, I know junk but how you eat is not poison. No, that's fine. Junk food is too. But... God made food. <sighs> so. Would you watch Poor Things? What is that, a movie? It's amazing when people are shocked by someone never trying a poison that is normalized in their society. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everything in moderation. Ugh. I don't like it. Oh my god. What? What? I hate drunk people. <laughs> I know, Teardrop. Yeah, I know. Me too. Do a sleep stream? Oh, so this oh. is just her talking to the chat. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's not saying much. She's not saying nothing. <sighs> Shit, man, we might wrap up at oh, a decent really time today. Why? Let's do a little skip. Oh, I got a lot of work tomorrow. That might not be bad. We got a long yeah, day. Yeah, so they all maybe. It does burn the skin. Yeah, that's good, rats. Please send this to Salah as well. Please pray for my cat. She has leukemia. And pray for me, please, to have the strength to be by her side till the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Meep. That's tough. Yep. <laughs> She's so cute. You're like a cool aunt or grandma always sneaking in trades. Yeah, exactly. 160 viewers. I don't care. I'm grateful for those 160 people. Wow. Yeah. I'm in the gym. I'm so tired. I really wish I could go to the gym right now, honestly, but I'm so <laughs> Liar. I do. I feel like ah. I want to, like, You have a living room life, exercise. You know? Ugh. I agree with her on this point. She's not sacrificing her identity for him. She doesn't have one. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Ugh. That's why I wanted to game. It's something I can do for fun, and it doesn't involve any drama or talking about, you know, anything I don't want to give attention to. You're suffering. You'll get there slowly and surely. Inshallah, yeah. Well. What? I don't know what she's talking about here. Oh, somebody's cat has cancer, apparently. And this Facebook grandma says, people calm down. Not treating an animal for cancer is letting nature take its course. We shouldn't feel guilty. It's natural. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> no so medication, cat abusers no treatment. in the chat, too. We also have animal abusers yeah, in the I chat. I wouldn't treat my cat for cancer either. I'm not going to put them through, like... <laughs> no medicine, no treatment, just death. Um, I wouldn't treat my cat for cancer. That costs money, and I don't love something that takes my money. Right. Listen. But I thought that all these people are also the same people that claim pets are their kids, right? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I wouldn't treat my cat for cancer either. I'm not going to put them through, like... Honestly, yeah, if it was, like, if they were, like, their pain was manageable, but with medication, maybe, like what Meep's doing, but if they were suffering too bad, I would just probably have them euthanized because to me that's the most humane thing to do if it's their no that's not what the lady said she said let nature take its course so let them suffer no, until no, they die naturally go to jail. uh it reminds me of one of those really shitty uh flash dress up girls for game oh yeah at first i thought that's what it was i had to check to make sure i was still watching the stream yeah <laughs> they're suffering really badly because also cancer treatment for as if like that would just be torturing the pet more in my in my opinion they don't understand that and it's probably super super expensive you know yep that's the issue yep i won't be able to order takeout five times a day wow shit shit people from top to bottom uh -huh. she really has weeded through every single thing on the internet just to get this chat and it's the best she has they are the most bizarre i was saying that earlier how has she cultivated these people like these are literally grandmas on facebook 
with weird comments, like you post something and then grandma comes on with some off the wall weird ass comment. And that's all these people. How did they find her? Why are they here? It's so strange to me. Like you feel lonely like in Canada, you've had your own circle. Well, I didn't have a circle in Canada either. I yeah, she didn't have any Canada. friends. Like I have my husband here, you know? And... My husband here, I have him. Except he's not here. Mm -hmm. We've just been like stronger since everything. We've been doing very well and communicating better. Um, sure. And yeah, just like I have him and I, in Canada I was lonely for like, you know, real love or like some kind of connect. I don't know. It's just lonely. I mean, you know who um, really loved you was Canada your pets. And mm. appreciate his friendship. And have All right. Like Kimmy said, she could pay the crackhead's rent, but not preventative care for cats. Family every day. The only things that actually loved you. Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> Boss. Thank you so much, Mistress of the Dark. That's nice of you. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, like, I didn't have a circle in Canada either. I didn't really do much. Hi, Lady ASMR. I had you, I had you guys. I went live a lot, you know? <laughs> Ugh, I don't care, Chris. Whatever. <laughs> I don't live my life worried about what reaction channels are going to say about what I do. No, oh, fuck. Last days, <clears throat> those treatment stress or just enjoy the time they have left? Yeah, exactly. What? Do you want... Needles and treatment. Weren't you going to the doctor every day to get shots? Yeah, that, what happened there? Supposedly. Oh, that's done. Uh -huh. I needed to go to the doctor every day for shots. Never. I told you none of it happened. No. Pete's and my mom. Yeah, now I have Salah and my pets. And I still have my mom. I talk to her every day. Even in Canada, I didn't see my mom. Thanks for the dono. <laughs> I didn't see my mom, like, all the time. You know, she lived in Cornwall and she worked a lot, so. Not like when he goes out like this. No, like when he goes out, it's not very often. It's like he goes out with his friends, but not like every day, you know? You just said he goes and hangs out with his friends for a few hours every day. Mm -hmm. So it gives us a break from each other to just enjoy some space. And no, I don't mind at all. I don't feel lonely right now at all. I don't feel lonely for people at all. <laughs> she feels very lonely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just chill. I don't know. I went to bed with, um, I fell asleep listening to green noise and I feel super relaxed today. It's weird. I've lost quite a few pets. There's nothing I could do. My little Dashan died in my arms few. It was horrible. Oh my gosh. That's so traumatic. Aw, sorry, Teardrop. Dash hounds are so cute. I love Dash hounds. Mm hmm Love them. We need dogs. You know? Dash I was staying hounds. with my mom when I was in Canada, yeah, but I like, um... You don't say Dash hounds, do you? Statson. Hi, baby girl! What? Statson. Try it without... Dotsons. Dot, dot... I call them Dotsons. Dot... Do you know what they actually are? Dotsons. You fucking with me? No, that's what I call them. But do you know what they actually are? Weenie dogs. Dotsons. Dot, dot? Spell it. Dotsons. I know how it's spelled. It's spelled like Dash Hound, but I call it Dotsons. <laughs> dot, dot. <coughs> okay. All right. Oh, well, she just jumped on me. Um, I don't think I could live long term with family. Like, uh, I don't know. I like to live like... Only with certain, like, I like to live alone. I want to live alone if I ever have to live alone. Not with, like, family again. Not that there was any problems. It's just, I'm a very private person, but I don't ever want to, like, I want to stay living with Salah. I'm a very private person. Oh, but you know what I mean? Like, if I ever had to, for some reason. <laughs> German Uber, German Uber canines. Julia, I have to change that, that emoji. It's, like, hard to see it. No, not at all, me. If you guys can talk about what you want. Like, if you guys want to share something, that's fine with me. <laughs> me, oh my gosh. I'm glad you're trying not to give attention to the non-tenant content of channels. Some seem to be desperate to save their dying channels. I'm glad you're starting them out. Yeah, I don't want to even acknowledge these people anymore. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I just can't wait to feel... Right. Celeste. Uh, where's the tab? Oop. Uh, Chantel naturally attracts people with no common sense because she cuts out the people that do. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Thank you. Better so I can... Well, yeah, if you ask me a question, I'm just going to ban you. Right, blocked. You look. You're not here to pet my ass and tell me how oh, right I am? Blocked. Long, 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 long. Looks like a little face. Uh -huh. Looks like a little winky. I see. But it's already, like, going away. Mm -hmm. That was weird. Mm -hmm. Why do you choose to live in Kuwait? Wouldn't it be better if you to Canada? The Middle East is scary. I don't find, having lived in both, I don't find the Middle East scary. I think people, like, until I moved here, I didn't understand what it was like. And I feel like the people from the West have a lot of, like, um preconceived notions about it like kuwait is more peaceful to me than can when i lived in canada canada kuwait is safer to live than canada yes much more peaceful you know like that country that's right in between two countries that are about to go to war well in canada to be <laughs> fair she was out doing things driving around seeing the sights seeing people here she's just looking at her living room 
driving high, mm -hmm. <laughs> probably robbing drug dealers and leaving the country. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I prefer, we just prefer to live here. We're Muslim, it's an Islamic country. The cost of living is a lot more affordable. Um, it's not. Yeah, I just like it more, no. I don't know. Well, we might visit Lexi. Visit a nightlife in Kuwait, for example, clubs. Um, no, there is no, there are no dance clubs or anything like that. There are none. Is, there's no nightlife in Kuwait at all? Apparently not. Bullshit. I don't believe it. BBW Layla, it is. It's very safe. It's safer than in Canada. Safer than like Toronto. Yeah, for sure. Toronto. No Western style entertainment. There's just no dance nightclubs, you know? I, I, look I have a hard time believing there's no, there might, there's probably not alcohol, but I'm sure there's music places where people go and dance. Look, look it up on your phone. Look up, does Kuwait have clubs? Okay. The Middle East isn't scary. Maybe stop listening to disinformation. It's the best, most peaceful places on earth. Disinformation. I Dis hate that fucking word. Disinformation about Arabic countries. Okay. GCC countries, yeah, especially. Yeah, S Salad is literally out having fun at 5.30 a.m. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't like to be without weed personally. I don't like being too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't be Layla. I get that. The heat is really unbearable, too. Yeah, they do want to meet him messy, but someday, maybe, we can visit. It wasn't it her who said most people go to the malls and shopping and out on the town at night? And now she's saying there is no nightlife in Kuwait? Yeah, uh, Kuwait City nightlife is not the same nightlife in the western sense of the world because alcohol is forbidden, so there are no bars. Instead, socializing after dark centers around shopping, dining, late night cafes... And things like that. So. so, yeah, cafes. Yeah. Music, I'm sure. Oh, here's a Reddit. Let's find out. It's not odd if he lives in another country. If he's from another country, Missy Girl. Okay. What's the best dancing nightclub to go to in Kuwait? Someone asks on Reddit. Um, Macfar. They're in every area. Macfar is the best one. They have things every Friday night. Um... So there are places. Okay. There so she's places. just full of shit. Go to Quran. They hang out at coffee shops and malls. So she's just full of shit. Yeah. It's just not a bar. Yeah. They don't have bars, so they do those activities at other places. Yeah. And if you have a Syrian passport, it's not the same as um, having a Canadian passport. Canadians the are night very rave Canadians. in Salwa. So, yeah, they have places just without alcohol. Americans, people who have, like, um, a very powerful passport can just travel to most countries without it being a process, you know? Yeah, and there's a reason they don't want young Syrian men in their country. There is. To me, it seems a lot more peaceful living there. Canada seems to be too much drama and real-life idiots after you. Oh, yeah, for sure, squishy granny. Look at the last time I went there. Oh, it's FFG's me, uh, went down, You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't. I don't miss it at all right now, especially. My midi's friends tell me that many families do not accept a foreigner spouse for their daughter's sons. Um, that's not the case for me, but yeah, that does happen. Yeah, of course. But his family well, doesn't like you. No, I'm sure that they do not. They're probably very upset for with sure. him. But Salah's always been somebody who's been more open-minded than the traditional, like, culture expectations. So. Oh, yeah, he's definitely d different than traditional. You know, most people, like, let's say this, like, most men will, in, in Islam or in his culture... Not poop on people. Will stay at home. Most men will not arranged. want to eat farts. Yeah. Yes. T twerk true. quickly. Marriage. And then move out with the family. And, um, he moved out, like, and on his own. And he's fine with settling for never having marriage or family. Yeah. Definitely not like, like other years men. Ago, he wanted his he independence. He's more open-minded. for YouTube and money. So it's a different situation. Mm, not really, Lexi. I don't really want, like, a... A lot of attention on us but maybe someday we'll have a, a bigger wedding they're very expensive and um we just wanted to kind of rush and like have a wedding like you know yeah like the days after you um, got there huh. for some reason you couldn't visit with him at least Honestly, for a couple sure months first i think it's like a lot of the time it's arranged yeah he can visit so we might visit one day i don't know but it's not just as easy as him is she gonna read that i'm hoping one day when places are accepting of the lgbt uh, I can go places like Kuwait. It looks beautiful. And she's just going to not read it. She's like, you're she's not, not welcome in that. Kuwait. She's, she's probably going to say it's not true if she does read it. Just yeah. coming with me whenever, you know? Um, I have not, Dusty Bun. Yeah, I get it, rats. You miss a lot. <laughs> a teardrop. Aww. Yep, she said, I, I get it. You guys do. 
That's uh, it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, it's complicated, maybe, yeah. You can't just apply for a citizenship. Um, you have to be... I wonder what... What... Uh, the the people her neighbors would think if they knew about her and the roast beef sandwich. Yeah. In Canada for a long time. We don't we don't want to be in Canada. Like, hi, Sonny. You could visit rats. You're not nothing's gonna happen to you just for visiting here being gay. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if you were like. Yeah, I feel like that's not. Yeah, that's probably not good advice. Making anybody gay or straight. If you're making out in public, you're gonna be in trouble. That's it. Even straight people. People are not gonna come up to you and ask, "Are you gay?" So <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, and there's even this TikToker. He's like apparently extremely gay like you can tell no offense but and he just there's videos of him walking through kuwait and people are just like they don't care like you know it's not kuwait oh, is not like um i don't know afghanistan strict <laughs> hi kina bear i'm mariam that's my muslim name is she gonna ignore this no, messy you a girl you have this, to this, this, this messy girl questions her quite often and she usually ignores her she says did sal ever explain why his tinder location was set to canada not suggesting anything just curious <laughs> Yeah. So their spouse, but they. I don't, they don't think get Chantel has ever thought two seconds to wonder about that. No. No. We would have to live there for like three years for him to have his like. Uh, we'd have to live there for three years for him to even have his PR, and I don't. We don't want to live there for three years right now. You know. I think he was just looking for something different, messy girl outside of his culture. You know, kind of why like I was looking for like someone like Arab, Arab. What? Oh, that's why he said his location to Canada. He just wanted something different. Uh huh. But yeah. Read Lexi's. He's comment. just done with the internet for now, Lexi. Oh, that's why. Why is he offline though? It's not like he's going to be fooled again. So is he punishing himself, atoning in a way for betraying your trust? No, he just doesn't want to do the internet. Sure, that's the only thing he's ever wanted that, was to be a YouTuber. That's like the first but, thing he asked Kay Bella. Yeah, that's all he's ever wanted was to be a YouTuber. Way before you even came around, Chantel. But no, he's just done with the internet. Do you guys think she's worried about the wrong people in Kuwait seeing the snowflake doc and trying to dis dissociate? Maybe. I uh, Yeah, for sure that. That's that definitely... Could, that could be a possibility. It's a short Sal had told her he was worried about it. Yeah, yeah. And so she's trying to distance herself um i don't know sam or ham he's just really busy with other things hmm. he's just busy that's all <laughs> yeah i haven't been to the yeah, visiting yet. his friends it's for very a few big hours and I have to do a lot of walking, so very busy. as soon as i'm able i will <laughs> for sure i don't love malls but there's something about the malls here they're so you know what i mean i don't know <laughs> they're so i can't buy anything hmm hmm I thought the cost of living is Maybe so motivation. cheap there. You, you should can be do able it. to buy anything at the mall. <laughs> okay, yeah. guys. Um, Salah is going to be here soon. So I'm going to end this stream. No, he's not. Mm -mm. What about Arab men's attraction to them? No, people keep asking her questions <laughs> in the chat about Salah. I don't know. Salah. Like, obviously, She's getting like, annoyed. I'm like, super in love with Salah right now. So, But I guess just like, just found them attractive, handsome. Yeah, she's very mad. Mm -hmm. He's hot. Yeah, she's um, I don't know. getting too many questions. Okay. Um, I think it's mostly that they're like very... Yeah, this wasn't even an hour long. Like protective, some of them, not all of them, obviously, as you can see. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to um, hop off of here, and then I'll be back in a, in a bit. So keep an eye out because I don't know if I get the notification, but never can. I'm going to uh, I don't think. come back in game once Salah can set it up. Okay, my friends. Yeah. All right, we're done. Okay. Early show, early night. I'm sleepy. I need to take a shower, and I need to fall face first into my bed. Yes. Guys, thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for an incredible show this evening. We will see you throughout the week with videos, and uh, see you Wednesday. Yes, yes. Good night, everyone. Thank Good you. Good night.